Splendid Cartoon. I want to thank all Kuzoans for choosing to be on the right side in this game of choice. Today marks the beginning of a new era for the people of Kuzoa. Kuzoa is said to be the backbone of Africa and it is my duty to prove that we do not befit the position where we lock in the dark in this our great continent because of poverty, unemployment, lack of power supply, insecurity, corruption and the likes that has kept us from fulfilling our potentials as the backbone of Africa. It is on this note that I announce my one point agenda to fight poverty by creating jobs for our youth. I believe the youth are the leaders of tomorrow and they make the future of this great country. So it is for them that I come to make sure that they are well equipped to run the future of Kuzoa. God make Kuzoa great. The Kuzoan voice party is also committed to making the system work for every Kuzoan. I will get to work immediately. That's the real man, President Injili Abdurrahman. Up KVP. Shame on that useless National Force Party. That KVP the reign. Is it about the party or about how the president intends to serve the people? I don't just understand how some people think. That is why we are still backward in this country. KVPO, KFPO, all of them are the same. You think they have your interest in their hearts? How? Huh? Now turn by turn then they do to loot money. Exactly. Yet. Some backward brain people will be busy supporting political party rather than the leader's potential to evoke national change. My friend, this is the second time you are making reference to my brain. Refer to my brain again and see what I will do to you here. How can an ordinary woman be talking to me like this? What do you even know about politics? The fact that you had to involve my gender in something as talking about my country makes me see the size of your brain. Most are sick brain. Come and do your worst. One day, it got better for everybody. We don't have to fight. Driver, drop me for a bow wow. I better not go past my bus stop. Oh. Madam, if you no drop something, you no go fit see your husband. Oh. I beg. The money where they my hand now my transport. Where we go use go back house. Nothing they my hand. Eh, uh, now you be say you go to go back house near. No money, no sin. I beg, sir. Now just 500 kustra. Then my hand. Now transport to rich house. I beg. For my picking's sake. Make him at least see him, papa. He don't take away and see him. Now story you the yano. If I they listen to all this kind of story, I for don't die of hunger. As Kuzowa government, no they agree pay the small money than they pay on time. Bring 200 kustra. Make I go bring your husband. Bring the 500 kuzra. I get change. Now your change be this. Wait here. I they come. Swally, Baba. Baba will never chop since three days. She be today na visitation day. Why you no tell your people make they come feed you? Your father. Oh God, we don't the tell on our sin say person don't die for year. And I just leave the body inside here. And we will check it out later. Now wait till on the talk since. I say person don't die since. Baba, that thief I thief. I no keep person no. Goshra Timba. Oh yeah, mash out! Sir? Your family they find you. Start your waka. Daddy! That money you give me go expire in 20 minutes. See my husband! <laughs> See as my husband be! No start cry yo, I beg. If you dey cry, waiting you won't make I do now. Make my body day alright, as I see you and my begin now. It dey okay. I no go cry. How you dey? They don't talk when they go fix dates for the trial. Them been sent now in three months time, but now them don't shift them. Go front. Them say make I wait another eight months.
Hey, the same dates where they don't they push go front since three years now. Where you come here, go go punish that man where I kiss you. Say now you rob him for night. You will never take I see gun. It just see you say you resemble person where rob him for night. Make you just they pray for me because the man a big man. May God just take control. Poor people not only go down with they, but rich people they their money and I go the slow to judge person. No use your mouth the verse for God in front of my picking a bed. If we no get money, at least make it get God. Ben, my son, how are you? I am fine, sir. I just miss you. I miss you too. Hope you they read your books, so oh. which class you did now? Yes, sir. I mean it's a three, sir. Good, because education na the key to success. If to say me and your mama been go school, maybe we for no day this condition. One rich man no good day accuse me wrongly like this. But at all at all, make you try to do better for anything where you they do. Make God reward you better. Yes, sir. How your friends a maker and great braille? They are fine, sir. Make good friends. Don't join bad gang. One day it go better you hear? Yes, sir. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Your time don't finish you. Now, now. When you give me 200 kuzra, you don't know say your time go short. No wahala mama Ben. Thank you say you bring my pekin come see me. May God continue to bless your small hustle to take care of our pekin. I pray say you go fit survive this place come out again. We bring this bread for you. Ben. Ma. Oh say you never tire. Because na trek we go trek go out so. That was a good speech, Mr. President. Daily. Are you now commending yourself since you are the one who wrote it? No, sir. I just meant, well, um, good reading of the speech, sir. Um, sir, I have prepared a document I suggest you look at, sir. It covers strategies to begin work on your one-point agenda in tackling the problem of unemployment, sir. I want you to prepare a list of the names of people who were posed as a threat to me becoming a president. I need to make a statement to them one by one. Sir. They need to feel my rot. Mr. President, I feel that should not be the focus now. I think we should focus on marching head on into plans to actualize your agenda, sir, so the people can feel your impact, especially the youths. It will be easy to be voted for again for second term. Do you know how much I spent to be on this seat? If I were to leave my fate to the hands of the lot that heard my speech, your speech, do you think I will be here? Don't be a naive fool. They did not vote for me. I voted my way in. You young men will not learn. That is why it will take you all centuries before you will take power from the people your lots call old. Now prepare that list. And that is an order. Yes, sir. The documents. Which? The one that highlights strategies to reduce unemployment, sir. Just drop it on my table. It is important to crush every opposition in my way. I promise to uphold Kuzowa's dream to be a law-abiding citizen and uplift Kuzowa's name anywhere I go. I remember that Kuzowa, my country, deserves every good in the world and the task is upon me as a Kuzowa to make it happen. You must understand that you are the leaders of tomorrow. And education is the key to unlocking your bright future. So, I indulge you to not waste the opportunity your parents have given you. They have given you the key. That is why you are here. Guard the key jealously, for there will come a time when it will be required of you to use it. When you are given an assignment, do it. Read for your tests and exams. Be a serious student. Do you understand? Yes, ma! That is what you students always say. Yes, ma, yes, ma. And some of you will not understand. That is your business. Matching in song. Parents, listen to your children. Children, we are the leaders of tomorrow. Tomorrow, try to pay our school fees and give us a sound education.
You all did badly in the test. If not for three people in this class, I would have felt I had not taught you the topics in the test. Ben, Emeka and Gabriel. These three boys had 40 over 40. Do they have two heads? Answer me, my friend. Do they have two heads? No, no. ma. If I were you, I would make friends with them. Learn to be like them so you can be great. You can go back to your seat and please, do not relent in the effort you put into your studies, okay? Okay, ma. Some people will not become great in this life through what they learned in school. What did you say, young lady? I was just expressing the fact that not everyone's path to greatness would be through passing tests and exams or whatever else school brings. Some people learn from experiential knowledge, not just from what they read in books. You are very stupid. What did I say? You are very stupid. You are calling me stupid? You just said I should repeat what you said. You think you are smart, right? I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying what you said I should say. Come out here, Zefna. I will teach your foul spree spree mouth a lesson today. Ah, <sighs> not again. It's, it's a crime to be expressive in this country. You are still talking. You think because you just came back from the States, you can wag your mouth anyhow? <laughs> what the hell did I do wrong? You had no right to touch me. Back in the States, I would have sued your behind. I would have sued your behind. I would have sued your discozola countries. Damn, I'm tired. I'm going home. I ain't doing this no more. Nonsense child with no home training. So, the topic for today is... These boys' parents are obviously rich. No doubt. Do you see what he normally buys during breaks? Imagine if that guy is my friend. That is how I'll be entering the car too. I'll be enjoying myself. You guys are in two different worlds. Do you think he'd want to be friends with you? Do I smell? Friendship is just about starting a conversation. Hi Femi. How far now? Here. Can I help you? Not really. Just wanted to know how you're doing. I am fine. We can be friends, sure, and it can benefit you academically. Friends? <laughs> he wants to be my friend, guys. The only thing that can make you useful to me is to clean my shoes after break. Can you do that? I thought as much. So take your poor self out of my sight. How is your new friend? Gable, leave me alone, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You better stick with us, your fellow poor friends. Who else was feeling Zefna today? I did, though. The girl was boldly called her teacher stupid. As she made it seem, it wasn't intentional. But the girl gets mouth, Sha. It's better in a lot of trouble, Sha. We admire her. The girl makes a lot of sense. You admire her, or you admire her accent? I admire her personality. She has a strong personality and she's pretty too. <clears throat> the two of you are mad. Gabriel, did you say anything? No, it's just guilty conscience that is disturbing him. <laughs> <laughs> My is better than Emeka that was got humiliated. Me, I've reached my house, so if you like, keep yabbing me on the rest of your journey home. Oh, you're no vex. <laughs> Gabo and I are just apologizing for not having that kind of exotic car, like Femi. <laughs> no vex. How is the mother, though? Is she getting any better? She's still sick. But my dad said we'll be going to the general hospital again tomorrow. Can we see her? Let's enter. She might be sleeping. Mm-hmm. My children. Gabriel. Ben. How? <coughs> how are you? Fine, ma. I am fine, ma. They wanted to know how you're doing. Oh, thank you so much. I will be fine by the grace of God. The doctor said I am having malaria, but I have been taking series of drugs. Yet, I don't feel any better. But I believe I will be fine, though. Amen, ma. God will heal you, ma. Maybe the next time you visit, I will be strong enough to prepare something for you boys to eat. Okay, ma. Take care of yourself, ma. Emeka, see you on Monday. 
Mommy, good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma. Gabriel, how are you? Fine, ma. How is your mom at school? Fine, ma. Okay, greet her for me, yo. Wait, take this roasted yam. Thank you, ma. God knows, this yam your mother gave me is the holy meal I am sure I will have for today. God bless your mom. It is well, Gabu. It's like everybody has their own problem in this world, though. It's a lie, Joe. Those rich people don't have any problem because there is no problem that money cannot solve. I must eat this one before I get home. If not, I will have to share it with people at home. Bye bye. Go and change your uniform and join me here. We don't they tell you since they make you pay your money. You think say we they play? How much be my market? Where I go, they pay you two thousand kusra and not be front of my house ID. Okay now, put your market again. You go tell us whether now you go teach us. Where front of your house day? Why you no go sell from inside your bedroom? I know I'll see you here if you never pay the money. If I start crying, wait till I want to make Ben my picking can they do? Mommy, what are we going to do now? Please, when are you people going to attend to us? I've been here since 6 a.m. and this is 12 p.m. already. Should I turn myself to a doctor? I say the doctor is not on seat yet. I beg. I've not eaten since morning. Oh. Don't give me a headache. Yay! Yay! Please, oh! Nobody to faint again, oh! I don't have strength today to carry anybody, oh! This just came in. Governor Remot has been apprehended by the Financial Fraud Crimes Commission, FFCC, on grounds of forgery of West African Examination Commission, YX certificates, and misappropriation of over 50 million Kuzra. The arrest was made about 30 minutes ago. <laughs> Governor Remot, that was against the President Abdurrahman from the beginning. The president has started dealing with them. All these people waiting for me? Yes, sir. Ah, I don't intend staying long here. Yeah. Please, let them start coming in according to however they are arranged. I can't wait to leave this country and join my colleagues abroad. He couldn't even apologize for coming late. What kind of public system do we run in Kuzowa? Once you work in the public sector, it's like a license to act as you like. Your mom's not the pain you I beg. Who is Trisha Wamadioa? That is my wife. So, I should come and meet you there, Abby. Come and collect your card and see the doctor. <coughs> don't call for my body now. So, you don't start work already? Wow. That is about 5 million when you convert it to Kuzra. Chai! My brother, that is the plan. I have to relocate to Canada this year unfailingly. I must to... Congratulations once again for escaping this country. I go soon come join you. Uh -huh. What is your case? Sir, it is my wife. Oga. I sent my boy to you, but my boy said the response you gave him was hostile. Because you started the hostility first. How, sir? You came to me because you are wondering why I have stopped referring patient to you. Is it not? Yes. And what did I tell your boy? I didn't understand what you were saying. But you understand the part where he said my response was hostile. Anyway, my payment was short. For last month, I referred 50 patients to you to have their tests done at your lab. And my payment was shortened. No, doctor. I can't cheat you now. See, eh? I don't have time to exchange words. I am a man of action and few words. Which is why I didn't say anything to you. I simply just ended the relationship. Take a look at that list very well. Those are the names of people I referred that are confirmed to have done testing at your lab. Each test they carried out, the price is there. And I have calculated my percentage from each one of them. I am just showing you so that you will know I am not a mugu in this business. But Oga, you know that sometimes patients can come and hear price and decide to change their mind about doing the test again. I said those are the names of people confirmed to have carried out the test at your lab. Don't they come back to me with the results? Abi, what are you saying? No, sir. But well, we can talk about this. It doesn't have to get to the point where you stop referring patients to me now. Nah. That is what you want now. Nah. I beg, doctor. Oga, oh, you have to wait, I beg. If you want to go, you can go. If we are at an embassy and they were talking, is that how you interrupt them? If it is a white man talking now, you will not dare interrupt him. 
What brought about white man now? Doctor no vex. Let me go. I'll come back. Better don't come back without the balance. That is the only basis for you coming back. Doctor, don't be talking like this now. Nah. We will settle this matter. It is obvious this is acute malaria. You have to be patiently taking the drugs. It is just that I thought you might run some tests. See? Are you trying to teach me my job? No, I didn't study doctor in school now. Nah. But she is not getting any better. That is why I... Some of the drugs here are similar to what we have at home now. Then buy the ones that are not similar. The way some people want to teach me my job, eh? Please call in the next person. Some of you give a lot of stress on top of how much. I have not even been paid for six months now. Yes, you don't know that if you knock once on the gate, you would wait for a response. Why are you knocking like you are a mad person? I'm sorry, sir. What are you and what are you looking for? My name is Ben, a friend. I mean, a classmate to Zephna. Is she around? I want to see her. Is she expecting you? Actually, no. I just want to check up on her. Eh, hey, wait first. Man, this girl's parents are rich too. Just look at this house. Come inside. Sir, please. I hope there is no dog in the compound. Now so you fear dog, Rich. Don't worry, there's no dog. <laughs> I thought they said Kuzorians were strong, especially the men. You don't seem so strong right now. I knew it. I knew that a big house like this can't be without a dog. Please don't measure my strength on this skill. Dogs are my weakness. It took a while to recall who Ben is. I'm not popular, I know. Not that. I've not had anybody visit me here, especially not from school. They all seem so judgy and act like they've got their nose laid permanently in the air. Please, let me enter before you. Let's go of the dog. Don't worry, he doesn't bite. Of course, but just let me enter first before you let's go of the dog. <laughs> So what brings you to my house? Just came to check up on you after the last episode in class. Oh, that. I don't know, but I think it was cool. One thing children are not allowed to have in this country is the freedom of expression, especially among elderly ones. And every expression that negates their beliefs is considered to be an insult. Yes. <laughs> E.G., you are very stupid. <laughs> especially that stupid part. <laughs> <laughs> but she was. She was the one who said she repeats what she said. <laughs> <laughs> exactly! So I don't know why she was so angry at me! Zeph, you didn't tell me you had a visitor. He just came, Mom. He's a classmate. You should get him something then. Check the kitchen for some small chops. Mom! This is why you should bring back the maid, you know, for little errands like this. Come on, go to the kitchen for something to entertain your guest with. Zeph has never had any classmates visit her before. I'm glad she's beginning to socialize, have friends. I'm not sure about friendship. I just wanted to check up on her after the record she had with our teacher. Hmm. She's a free-spirited child because of the environment she grew up in. It is because we wanted her to be deeply rooted in the Kuzoian ways. That's why we relocated back to Kuzoa. It's going to take her getting used to some things. I just wish people can be a little bit more patient with her. She's a sweet kid. I don't even see anything wrong with her. Mom, are you going to sit there while I chat with my friend? Sorry, I'm leaving. Your mom is so cool and whatever this is, it is so sweet. You think? Wait till you taste my mama's pancakes fried in almond oil and eat them with her special sauce. Can you make it? Nope, I can't cook. Since we returned to Kuzowa, mom's been trying to teach me but it looks so hard. But eating is not so hard, right? Oh well... 
and Kuzomian dishes are so damn appetizing. Peppery Dale, but good. You have to give me the address to your house so I can pay you a visit. Uh, no need. You, you don't need to bother. Come on, it's no bother. I just want to repay the favor. That's what I'm saying. You don't need to repay any favor. As a matter of fact, I think you did me a favor. I had so much to eat. I'm finding it hard to work. Too much talk. I insist. Okay, don't expect much from my house anyway. Sir, have you taken a look at the strategies I submitted to you? I will look at it. Sir, the doctors are threatening to go on strike. How will they go on strike? They have to put the ethics of their profession first. Saving human lives first. Well, it's just that they've not been paid for the past. They are just bluffing. For them, saving lives should come first before money. I don't think they are bluffing, Mr. President. Please give me other pressing matters first. Well, a tribunal has been set for Governor Arimont. A lot of people are clamoring to join the KVP party. Congratulations, sir. You have succeeded in being a threat to the opposition party, sir. Good. Very good. Now, who is next on the list? Before they all join the party, let them taste a little of my power. Baby Chief Danfombi, why is your face so serious? Slim Chris, my one and only Slim Kiss that is ever looking fresh. Mm, it is me, oh. So why are you looking serious? Is your wife disturbing you? My wife can never bother me. I'm just thinking about the recent developments since this new government started. People are just being apprehended for the tiniest of crimes. I'm thinking of joining the KVPO. Eh? I don't understand all this politics game safe. But if you need to do it to save yourself, please do it though. You know you are my fountain of living water. I don't want you to dry up. For you, my one and only slim case, I won't. After joining the party, I need to travel to London. Ah, uh, why na? For my routine medical checkup, Jerry, there's this headache I've been having at intervals. I need to check if it is just stress or something else. Why not just check in one of the hospitals around here? Ah, I can't oh. Those hospitals are not up to my standard. If you see the hospital I do my routine checkup, you will feel the hunger to be sick because their facilities are just top notch. Eh, okay oh. Shall I buy a lot of things for me when you are coming back? That one is a small thing. I told you not to expect much from my home. I wasn't. Ben, I they come. Make I go pay those tax force people. They are 2,000 kusra. The only problem now say, this morning now waiting I won't use buy small yam to roast. I don't know how I go take see another money to buy my market now. I have suggested going out to look for a mineral job to support. You said no, but you can see that we need an extra support. Please, allow me. Good for B though. Now my palava to take care of this house. Make you just go to school. Become great for this life, I beg. Mommy, meet my friend from school. Her name is Zephner. Good evening, ma'am. Safanaya, sorry yo. Issues of life, no let me see road again. How are you day? Um, I... She's asking how you are. Oh, I'm very well, thank you. I do hope you're doing okay. You sound really worried a while back, though I couldn't comprehend a lot of what you were saying, but your expression had it all gloomy. You alright, yeah? From where you see this, your friend? Now, no, she did take talk. Mommy, she just returned from America and she's asking you how you are soon. Oh, my dear, I did fine. Make I quickly come out before night go come. Ben, behave yourself, oh. No go start rubbish with woman, oh. Mommy! What does your mom do? Well, she sells roasted yams to people. Oh, I guess that doesn't pay much around here. Well, enough to give us our daily bread. Unfortunately, some officials came around and threw our market away because she didn't pay some money to them. Is that what she's going to pay now? Yes, and that's the last money we have in the house. No source to get yams and feed. I'm sure she's hoping on some miracle to happen. How much is it? 2,000 kuzra. Perhaps I'm your miracle today because I have 5,000 kuzra mommy gave me today. I'll give you 3,000 kuzra. Wow! I'd love to reject this money, but I really can't. Oh, please. You don't have to reject it. 
Thank you. We have a store full of yams at home. I'll bring some when next time come in. That should also help. You don't know the extent of what you've done for my family today. Thank you. What about your dad, though? He's, he's in prison. He didn't commit any crime, but it's a long story. I want to hear it. The way your mother has started coughing out blood is looking more than malaria. Daddy, who oh, mommy is not going to die. Oh. Shut up your mouth. Why would you think of your mother dying? Don't say that near her. But the blood she's been coughing these days. I couldn't even go to school today because it looked worse today. <coughs> <coughs> to take her to the hospital. C can you stand? <sighs> please, please, my wife, coughing blood. Please, help, uh, please. Please set my mother fast. Ah, I'm sorry, but there's no doctor on ground. Didn't you hear doctors are on strike? Strike? I said my wife is too weak and you are telling me about strike. Get me a doctor now to attend to my wife. What are you shouting on? Oh yeah, please. Please. I am sorry. No vex. Just call me a doctor. And I said there are no doctors on ground. Doctors are on strike. Am I speaking Chinese? Please. Look at my wife and my son. Oh, not mercy. Help me. I can only advise you to take her to a private hospital. There is one just across the road. This is an acute case of tuberculosis. Why would you let it get to this severe stage? You people don't hear word. When cough persists after three days, consult your doctor. But no, you would wait till after a year when the cough has generated into something else. Doctor, I swear, I went to the hospital. They said it is in malaria and they prescribed these drugs. I bought all of them but nothing was happening. I even went back to the hospital to complain. They said she should continue with the drugs. Oh my god as it is now whatever treatment we prefer on her you need to pray hard that she responds to it can you see me can buy this drug <laughs> i would try my best please please doctor can you see me can buy your move can you see me can buy this drug mom People are really suffering in this country. Why do you say that? When I went to Ben's home, I really felt for him. They find it difficult to eat, Mom. Wow. Is he not the same boy you said is always at the top of the class? Yes. He and two other guys. Hmm. That's impressive. Which is why I want to ask for a favor. His mom sells roasted yams for a living. I was wondering if we could give out some yams to hmm. them. Please. If they stay longer than that, you know they gonna get spoiled, mom. The yams are so much. Giving out at least six won't hurt. It <laughs> seems you've calculated the whole thing in your head. Please, mommy. Okay, fine. Take six yams to them. The driver will take you. <laughs> Thank you, mommy. Thank you, mommy. Who will punish the doctor that diagnosed my mother wrongly? If anything should happen to my mother, her blood will be on his head. It's okay. This is not the time to curse. This is the time for us to pray for her to be restored. I've run out of words to say in my prayers. How is your dad do? He's at the hospital with my mom. Is this not Zephaniah? Ben, what's she doing in front of your house? Hey guys! I didn't expect to meet all the classmates here. How much she find on the close-up level? Not only close up, McLean said follow. Zef, welcome. Please come sit. Things have been happening, you know. So, Ben, you finally brought your crush closer. Shut up! Aww. Ben, you were crushing on me? Don't mind them. They are just showing their talents in foolishness. Now, Ben is lying. In fact, it has passed crushing level. He's in love already. This Ben, eh? Keep shouting. I just admire her a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she has a strong personality. <laughs> Don't listen to a word they are saying. Just look at how his voice has reduced because of a woman. <laughs> ben, your friends are quite hilarious. Oh my.
Is that my Safanaya? Hey! Your mom knows her safe. Hey! Good evening, ma'am. My Peking! Thank you for that day. God go bless you. Oh, yeah, kneel down. Make I pray for you. I. Oh, okay. I should kneel down. No, even I don't go cash your head. Poverty no go near you and your family. Anything where you do go the better for you. But Bella is no go see you. You go grow better growing. You go the say amen. She said you should say amen. Uh, oh, amen, ma. Amen. Thank you so much. Emeka, I your mama. She's still at the hospital in a critical condition. I blame that previous doctor who didn't tell us what was wrong with my mom on time. It is well, oh. Make we just they pray, say she go better. I won't go buy Shakol. I they come. You mean your mom was wrongly diagnosed? Yes. We're told she had acute malaria, only for us to go to a different hospital. And that test showed she had tuberculosis. The doctor said it has gone too far. We're just praying. Did the previous doctor not conduct tests before he concluded on her ailments? No. He said he knew his job when my dad pointed it out to him. This is appalling. So he's behind and get millions out of him. Zef, this is Kuzua, not America. You need money here to sue anybody. Damn, does anything work properly here? I feel so sorry for you. It is well. I have to go. Ben, you owe us some gist. Let me go home as well. See you guys when I see you. Alright guys. What gist is he talking about? Gist of how the pretty Zef is sitting across from me in my house. <laughs> so, it is true you have a crush on me. <laughs> Don't take their word for it. Exactly! This is why I'm asking you directly. Well, I'm a great admirer. So if that is crushing then, yeah, I had a crush on you. <laughs> See? That wasn't so hard to admit. It's nice though to be crushed on by an A student. I thought you weren't concerned with academic success. I am more concerned with the application of those A's to real life. I get low grades here because I didn't write down precisely what was dictated in class. You guys cram a whole lot here. Hmm. I feel so bad for Mecca. People are really going through a lot. I wish I could help so that doctor doesn't get away with the harm he has caused. And your dad won't have to suffer for what he didn't do. I brought some yams for your mom. My mom said to take six, but I took ten. <laughs> oh my, this is too much. It's not. I wish I took more of that. My mom will be so overwhelmed. Thank you so much. Thank you. <clears throat> I have to go now. It's getting so dark. Thank you so much, Zeb. You're welcome. My baby. Daddy, you've missed you so much. How was your business meeting in London? Did it go well? Yes, it did. It went so well. I decided to give you an open check to ask for whatever it is you want and I would consider doing it. Really? Yes, my baby. Well, I have this friend in school whose dad is in prison for something he didn't do. Could you use your connections to help him, please? Also, there is another friend whose mom was wrongfully diagnosed. I want the doctor to suffer for his unprofessionalism, Dad. I don't want him to go scot-free. Wait! How long have I been gone for? I thought you didn't have any friend in school. Well, now I do. Are you gonna help or not? Please, Daddy, they barely have enough to eat. These people are really suffering. But, honey, these are their personal problems. Why involve yourself with them? Because they are humans. And I just care. My baby, you should not take the burdens of others because there are so many burdens in the world. Why can't I? Especially if I have the ability to take on their burden. You can use your connections and money to help them. I am sorry, my darling, but I am going to have to refuse you this request. 
Besides, why are you associating with people having these kind of serious problems? I don't want you feeling burdened. So, you're not going to help them? I thought I made that clear. This is Kuzowa, and they might be trying to scam you out of some money. Fine, Dad. Just know that when I grow up, I want to be able to help people in hopeless situations, defend people. Basically, I don't want to be like you when I grow up. I should probably become a lawyer so I can defend people like Ben's dad. Or a journalist so I can expose the ills in this Kuzoa. Like a Mecca's previous doctor. Exposing him would make him pay for what he has done to make his mom. Lawyer or a journalist? Which should I go for now? Darling, you're back. Yes, honey. And I think you haven't been stern with your daughter. She needs to be African, not to be buttered up. What's going on? She came home saying I should have some friends of ours. Ben? You know the friend? She mentioned two friends, actually. I only know of Ben, whom she said needed some assistance, and I told her to take some yams to them. Oh, so you aided her in all of this? I'm, I'm sorry, but I thought it would be a one-time thing. We decided to stay in this foul environment. Send her to that less than standard school so that she can spill off some of that American life in her. Not so she could start a charity foundation in my house and create the same issue she left America for. I said I'm sorry. I, I didn't think it through. We have to start thinking of relocating to a more elite area. At least there won't be any charity case to entertain there. A place where everybody's on their own minding their businesses. Sir, I need to remind you that there's a host of public opinion against your administration, sir. The doctors are still on strike, and during your time, the price of petrol has increased from 65 Kuzra to 165 Kuzra, sir. These strikers will stop striking when they are tired. Anyway, I will sort them out when I come back from my travel to America. I have this pain that has been sitting on my back for three days now. I need to have it checked. Oh, you can tell the vice president that you should tell the people that I will set up a committee to look into their grievances. As for the price of petrol, that is inevitable. Maybe the back pain comes from sitting on that chair and doing nothing to help the public. We are gathered here to say farewell to Trisha Wama Dioha and to commit her into the hands of God. May God comfort those she left behind. Mommy! I miss you very much. We are not trying to increase any debt to Uncle Zorians, but this is over six months. We have not been paid. We have before now written to the government to pay us the money home to us this past month, and the letter has been met with silence. I mean, doctors also have personal responsibilities they cater for. How do you possibly owe people salaries? Something they work for and you just don't pay them. Now this is extremely bad because these are doctors for Christ's sake. Government doesn't care if they or their families fall ill. They just simply hop in their private jets and travel out of the country for treatment. So where do they want the rest of the sick people to go to when doctors have decided not to work anymore? To go to help perhaps. Anyways, let's forget about Kuzoa's problems for a while. Where is your mom? I don't know. She's probably having fun wherever she at. So, if I tickle you now, there's no one to hear you scream. Now, so mama I make her take that yo. So painful. The man just a vest for that doctor. We tell him say na malaria. If to say na big man now, if I don't sue the doctor. But as he be say, he no get money. He go just a bite him anger with him teeth. Chai, that fine woman just go like that. The woman self can't resemble ghost before she die. 
She no resemble mama in make her at all. Hmm. Now God go help us. Oh. Ben, how school now? Fine, sir. I am about writing my senior work. E good. Make you do well, oh. Them don't fix dates for my trial. Them say na next two months. It be like say this one go sure. Them say them go give me government lawyer as we no fit afford our own lawyer. But the man never come see me, sha. I don't know if he de normal. Now lawyer now, then get book for head. They don't need to see you. If you go well, you fit come bank graduation. I think the lawyer is supposed to come and see you. Make we just day up for sha. You don't too tea. Fifteen years imprisonment for what you not do. On top the years when you don't do for inside cell. On top cell with the wait for on a trial. Which kind of lawyer will not give us? You don't even talk anything for all the things wait they say my husband do. You just agree up and down. Uh, don't go punish you. Ben, make you face your book. Oh. Make you face your book so your future go better. So nobody go oppress you like this for nothing. I beg. <laughs> oh, God. Mommy, so that is going to be away for 15 years. I can't believe that after all those delays, it was for nothing. The world is unfair. The world is unfair to people like us with no money. No money equals no help. And no help equals that we are expected to just rot like that. My friend Ben, just take out. Ben, your baby's coming. Hey, Zef Nalir. Wrong pronunciation of my name, but I pass. What's up? I might know the pronunciation if we hang out with the afternoon guys in school. So, I should hang out with you guys because you are the happening guys in school. And we could take care of you, show you around exotic places. I'll pass on this as well. Thank you. What do you think you are, Seth? Walking around the school like you own it. Walking around like you don't need anybody. It's not only your father that owns money. Look who's been noticing me. <laughs> I wonder why I haven't noticed you at all. Now, if you don't get your hands off me this minute, I'm going to show you the gangster stuff I'm made of. Good choice. Hey guys, what's up? Why the sad face? Ben's father lost the court case, sentenced to 15 years imprisonment. Oh my, Ben. I'm so sorry to hear that. How's your mom holding up? What can she do? We are trying to accept our fate. But this is crap. 15 years for nothing? This is so mean. It's what happens to poor people. Doesn't make it right. It shouldn't be accepted. It shouldn't be a norm. What is she doing with those poppers? She probably prefers the poppers company to our company. She's just a fool guy. Just don't stress over her. You can't tell me what to choose to stress over. It'll be fine one day, guys. Let's just help to be better tomorrow so we can fight these evils. You'll be fine, Ben. I assure you. My driver is here. Later, guys. As you move from this phase of your life, we wish you the best and pray that you prosper in all that you do. Make your school proud out there. What next now? My mother wants to relocate to the village. Things are really tough for us. She has been waiting for me to finish school before we leave. No plans to further. With which money? <sighs> My father has been seeing another woman. He plans to move somewhere else and remarry. Why leave to remarry? I don't know. Maybe he's scared of what neighbors would say. That it is too soon. How do you feel about having a stepmom? I don't even know. I'm yet to believe my mother is gone like that. I understand the feeling. Same way I thought I would have my father back home, but... It is lack of money that is causing all these things. I swear, if we had money, my mother would have gone to a private hospital in the first place and run a test to know what exactly was wrong with her. If we had money, we would have enough to eat and I wouldn't need to think of how to further my studies and we would be relocating to the village. Hmm. If we had money, my dad would have gotten a lawyer sooner and not have to spend all those years in prison for something he did not do. We must make a commitment not to be poor, no matter what. We must make this money! Yes, 
We must be relevant. Wait! Should we also promise not to contact each other till we have made it? Why? That sounds exciting. To make us more zealous to make it. Okay then. I'm in. I'm in. Ah, Ben Ben. How you day? I'm fine, sir. I was wondering why she didn't come for the graduation event, so I decided to come check up on her. She didn't tell you. I think she will not tell well. Tell me what? They parked out of this building to another one, no? They don't live here again. It can't be. She would have told me. Me too. I am surprised she didn't tell you. But they moved out some days back. To where, sir? Even me don't know. Wow. I can't believe this. So, I, I won't see her again. Hey, I don't have food that we eat this night too. I was hoping I'll be fed here this night, Seth. Lizzie, my love. Chai! And I don't have anything to you know. The lady in this house is the guy that I do have brought. Should I give you Gary to take home? This is not a Gary matter. Uh uh. Ben, why will things change for you? You go better. Let's be hopeful. I should continue being hopeful in this Gary situation. Ah! Okay, oh. Bring the Gary like that. Manage it. Why are you frowning now? Don't worry, very soon I'll start giving you shawarma, pizza, cold stone, chicken peri peri, hot dog, and all those wishy wishy instead of Gary. You better do what you need to do fast. This condition is not for long now. I'm trying my possible best because of you. You're my motivation. The two love birds are here. This is Alpha now. I'm fine, I'm just about leaving. Ah, hope I'm not the one chasing you away. Not at all. Darling! Yeah, let me see you off. Manage this for transport, eh? I know it won't take you far, but just help me manage. Mmm, okay. Oh. I love you. I love you too, Sha. Which one is Sha again now? Fine, I love you too. You don't give her my Gary RB. Guy no vex. Now don't small I come out. Where the money? Where my male dash you? Eh, I, I don't give easy for transport. She no disturb me to share my own with you. Now two of us no get job together. But now your family will change past my own. Adura, my guy. I no say you got your boy. Not seen in my side like this. I do loyal baba. I don't even know why you did relationship safe. Because at this stage of my life, I no get means to the sustain people. Make her just suffer and I suffer alone. Nah, she take in that Jerry, but I like this girl, Sha. I wish she had fit. Just blow now, nah, now. Nah. Make her just a give her what she wants. I wonder if my friends don't blow for their own side. She, nah, those your secondary school friends where you tell me about. Eh? Since none of them has contacted you, it means they haven't or they might have forgotten about the silly pact you guys made. It can't be that they have forgotten. Check out my new ride, dear father. My name is Femi, but you can call me Young Money. Check out my mansion. Check out my fleet of cars. If we don't make this money, wait till we gain. Also, also make your eye know the tear for other people's success. Oh boy, see Femi, see his house, her cars. This guy is in money. Chai, Femi that used to carry last one way in school. He even embarrassed me when I asked to be friends with him. We can be friends, Sha, and it can benefit you academically. Friends? Ha, 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 ha. He wants to be my friend, guys. The only thing that can make you useful to me is to clean my shoes after break. Can you do that? Baba God, do my own now. Nah. Do my own now. Nah. Why would do my own? I just die for this life where I can't live so. Femi. Femi. I'm here, sir. Take this money, go and fuel the G wagon. We have a meeting in an hour. Okay, sir. That's what you talk, sir. No go make him for this life, eh? I must show a pepe. I must make him. Oh. Hmm. Make him try my luck again for Instagram. I pray say person go fall for this one today. People are just becoming more and more stingy these days. Hmm. Which kind of life be this? 
Hello, Emeka. Sir, how are you? I am fine. I say I should call you since you have not called me in a long time. It's not like that, sir. These are just extra hard. I'm trying to survive. Your father just wasted money sending you to the university. I told him not to bother, but he kept saying the brain is sharp. He doesn't want it to waste. Are you and your brain not wasted now? Do not listen to her, my son. Just be patient and work hard. You will find success one day. Sure. Since you left the house like every other young man out there, I've not seen any results. You are the one that ought to be taking care of my children, your father's children. But no, it's still your father that is carrying the responsibility. Do you want me to go and sit to support the house? See this type of question, oh? Chai, I've always known you to be useless. Give me the phone. How dare you call my son useless? He make up my son. Be patient. Success will locate you soon. You hear? Amen, sir. And try to be calling once in a while. Does he have money to buy a time to call? And come home if things are too difficult. You can always come home to rest. <laughs> if you come back to your father's house empty and dead, just know that you are a total, complete and packaged failure. Will you shut up, woman? And to think she's actually right. You can't go back home empty handed. Mommy, I have to go and find a way to make things better for us. This farm work I've been doing here isn't going to make us any better. That is why I've decided to go back to Lagos. I think it would be easier since Adewale has invited me. I won't have to worry about where to stay. If God blesses me, I might be able to try to further my education. I understand, Gabrielli. Adewale's family has really changed since he left for Lagos. His mother now changes rapper every day. It's just a pity his sister chose to die at this moment. She and Adewale were really close. Hmm. Well... There comes a time in a man's life when he has to leave home to find himself. I can't stop you from finding your path, but try not to be hasty in finding that path to success. Life is both ways, right and left. Please, Gebu early. Try to choose right, no matter how long it may take. Thank you, mommy. May God and the spirit of your father guide you. Send Adewale my regard. Hello, Adewale. Hello? I'm at Osho for now. Eh? I should wait. Okay, you will come and pick me up. Alright. I should wait in front of shop easy. Okay. Guy, come in now. Who? Me? Adewale? Now you're inside this motor. <laughs> Come on, enter. Guy! Is this your right? <laughs> yes, oh. G boy, G boy. How are you now? I know say good day him now where I don't see you. So now you can't with this. See, guy, this is even the smallest car I have. Wait, you have more than one car? Yes, my guy. A big. Maybe two of us did the same farming business for our village. Which time you come Lagos? It gets with them deploy the money. Take this to chill your nerves. Hey! See enjoyment with my guy, they enjoy. Guy, now you they live? Yes, oh, it is my house. Now you be the landlord? Yes, oh. Hey! God, oh! Adewale, I beg, show me the way. <laughs> Let's go inside now. Stop all this drama.
have this. Put your sim inside. It's yours now. New phone? New phone? Thank you all. My enjoyment has started. Don't mention guy. Guy! See as the pork rich rich meat and fish give me. You know they chop. No, 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 no. I don't eat fish and meat again. Why? You were the only fight for larger share when we cash grass cutter. I'm trying to practice elderly living. No animal products for me. I guess it's your own way of doing the big man life. Talking about big man, I beg, show me the way now. I want to make this money, guy. Look at my mother in the village. I want her to enjoy. This hand to mouth life is taking its toll on her. Plus, you know, my babe. Aduke, how are you two, self? Separated by the power of burns. One guy just entered the village with a car and whisked her away from me. I beg, I want to make this money. Show me how you made the money. Hmm, making money is not easy. But you made it, and in less than a year, you have all these good things. Just eat. Tomorrow, I will take you to a friend of mine. He is a contractor. My friend, my friend. From tomorrow, I will start my journey to this your big man life. Following an interview where the president referred to the youth as laid-back Kuzorian youth, this statement seems to be causing an uproar in the country. Let's take a look at some of the reactions of Kuzorians. Mr. President had no right to call us laid-back. Did he provide jobs for us that we refused to do? I think uh, Mr. President is uh, talking from the point where so many youths have uh, resorted to crime rather than hard work to make it in life. Nobody should take it personal. The President is simply referring to himself, Jerry, lay back because he has been in the office and there is nothing significant that he has done except to chase what? Shadows. Then he's a youth because he is claiming to be in one age bracket since 19 Kokoro. He is forever young, no name. I beg, I beg, I beg. He is a laid back Kusowo youth. Ha 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 The last guy hit him. Okay, you are the young man Adewale told me about that needs a job. My name is Michael. I am Gabriel, sir. AKA G Boy. AKA Gabu. Yes, sir. I am in need of a job, sir. Yeah, he told me. So the thing is, we have enough hands on ground, but I can squeeze in one more. You will join the laborers on site. Eh? Yes, I'll be giving you 500 kuzura daily. Eh? Yes, you can start now. Eh? Okay, I'm coming, sir. Kebu, my friend. This one you are sitting here, frowning like this. I hope all is well. Adewale, I thought you brought me here to help me. I didn't know you brought me here to insult me. What are you saying? Same thing I've been saying since. I want to be rich enough to care for my mother, who has been suffering since I knew her. And you brought me here to be a laborer of 500 cruiser. How is that supposed to help me? Was that the job you did that brought you this route? Gee boy, calm down. You have to start from somewhere who? From, from 500 Kuzra, Abi. From there, you can get other jobs. And the pay would increase. If you had a university degree now, it would have been easier to get you a better job. You that is rich now. Did you even finish secondary school? Hmm. Just lead me to the connection you have. It's all I am asking. I am not a lazy man. You of all people know, I am a hardworking person. Just lead me to the connection, and my hard work will do the rest. Sit down first. This one can cure any teeth problem and whiten your teeth in three days. No matter how your teeth charcoal rich, it go turn to white as snow. Now just Andre Kuzra and a promo price be this. Buy your cold drinks. Also everywhere. Mad oh. But all this kind also go take me 100 years before I go fit me and buy Benz. Vote the man with vigor. Tenacity and drive. Vote common sense. Vote Demola Danzulu for president. This one they go anywhere. In English, she just they speak open. Now she in English, we go chop. <laughs> you talk through my brother. What did this be about politics? He just come for nowhere. Won't become president. 
It's not a child's play. It is not about his intonation. I've listened to his speech. The man holds good ideology. He's too young. Can a small boy rule the nation? In time never come. Make you wait. Driver! I beg, drop me for you. All these small boys will just be oppressing someone on the ground. Make me no worry, my own self they come. Mr. Man, face where you are going. Blind people everywhere in this Kuzowa. You have arrived. Come in, my son. I have been expecting you. Expecting me? But, sir, I mean, Baba, I've never been here before. I was only told about this place two days ago. Or did I only tell you I was coming? <laughs> you are just a boy. There are many mysteries in the world. My oracle tells me everything. Then I have come to the right place, Baba. Indeed you have. Have your seat. Young man, what do you want? Wise woman, I want to be rich. I also want to buy a Benz. A Benz? The money? Yes, I can understand that. But why Benz particularly? Baba, it is the same car that was used to carry my woman away from me. Right in my present. Hey, yeah. That can break a man's spirit. Baba, I must be rich like my mates. Men like me are enjoying and living happily in this world. I am tired of living in poverty. Poverty must die in my life. But you know, money does not always bring happiness. Baba, leave that one. If I can afford anything, I will be happy. Moreover, it is better to be sad inside G Wagon than to be smiling in Kekemarua. Alright, are you really prepared for this? Baba, I am more than ready. Hmm, bring your left hand. Do you still have a mother? Yes, Baba. You have to bring one of our rappers. My mother's rapper? I hope nothing bad will happen to her. I thought you said you are ready to do anything to become rich. Yes, wise one. I am ready, but not on my mother's life. She is the main reason I want to get rich quickly so that I can end her suffering. Hmm. Do you have a girlfriend? No, Baba. I told you my girlfriend left me for a rich guy. Very good, then. I will prepare some concussion for you. Once you hit it, you must look for a girl to. <laughs> that is all. That one is easy, Baba. Plenty of lotion day for outside. Daily, we need to work hard on this election, oh. Yes, sir. That is why I have drawn out a couple of possible questions and areas for you to. Yes, you are very smart. You need to draw out areas where we can dash people money so they can vote for me. You should draw the budget for that too. That was not what I wanted to say though. But why do you need to dash their money? Why do you just need to provide an environment for them to make their own money? I swear to God. If not that me and your father have been friends for a long time, I would have sacked you long ago. Why do you have to rebut everything I tell you to do? I'm sorry sir. But if you had carried out your said agenda to reduce unemployment in the country, you would have the backing of people behind you without having to bribe the citizens. You are still a small boy. Was it not yesterday they gave birth to you? Go now and work on things I can use to sway the minds of people towards me. Sir, it is what I have drawn out earlier. The one I told you to do now. Is that included in the one you did? No, sir, but... Then go and do what I said you should do. And in whatever content you are going to draw out for my coming speech, tell them I'm promising them constant power supply if they re-elect me. How would they believe you when you didn't do anything about the one you said you would do in the first turn off? Find a way to join the two together. I have also drawn out a couple of possible questions and answers to prepare you for the presidential debates. It was for you too. Which presidential debate? Did I tell you I'm attending any presidential debates? But sir, it is important that- Stop giving me stress. You are giving me a lot of stress. 
in fact prepare the presidential jet for me now i need to get to dubai to distress my bones my brother i am tired of this country imagine what has happened today obviously the company needed just two persons but we were more than ten thousand that showed up for the job this is alarming i am not surprised i mean it's not the first time we're experiencing it have you forgotten the stampede at the last interview we went for the annoying thing is employers asking for 10 years working experience in a reputable company. How do we get the experience when no company is willing to employ fresh graduates? And every year, our universities shun out graduates with no hope of them getting job. We struggle to get admission, struggle to graduate, now we are struggling to get a job. Chai, when I was young, we used to sing that education is the key to success. Yes, it was until our greedy and selfish politicians change the padlock. The system here sucks, I beg. This system has never favored the ordinary man and trust me, I did talk from experience. Hello, ma. Ben, how are you there? How did the job interview go? I didn't get the job, ma, but I am hopeful. Try. It is well. I just they come back from markets. I go buy the vegetable where I go sell tomorrow. I don't tire. I just say make I call you to know how far. Okay, ma. Make with they try go see your papa, oh. Yes, ma. See? That was my mom. I hope for me after graduation was very high. Now I'm just dashing everyone's hope against the wall. Be like, see, I could just go to one private school, go apply to teach you. Teacher, me, I hate teaching, I beg. <sighs> one day it go better. Me, I won't go drink guy with cold water. Make my brain stop the overheating they do. Now finish, I'm going make I call my babe Lizzie first. Set a all over, boy. Hmm. 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 Ah, and I am a graduate like this, too. Guy, how for now? Like the. Hey, America! Why they shout my name like that now? When you know answer, when I call you, know my uncle. I they ask you whether like the. Waiting they walk you, so they you turn to death. Which light one day? You they come as they expect to meet lights. I just think about my life, Jerry. Now life be this. See me. I never chop since morning. Now you know one walk to chop now. Nah. Did I see walk and I refuse to walk? Yes, ma. I think you say make you come follow me to the do brick layer walk. At least you go the see waiting to chop. But to say no, you be graduate. The work no be for you. But no be for me now. Nah. I did not spend seven years in the university to be a brick layer. Okay. I brought food for you, Sha. My friend, how for take survive without you? Now you the help with feeding and house rent. Thank you very much. God bless you for me. Hey, man. But know that now the bricklayer work they give me enough so that he reach your hand so. Hmm. I've been seeing one of my friends with the drive Okada, but now he don't buy bus and he won't lease him Okada to person. I be one recommend you to arm, but I forget say you will be graduate. So my life has gotten to this point where my options are now between being a bricklayer and an Okada driver. Who from my village is doing this to me? Take me to this person. I no mind Okada work, I beg. Hello babes. Hi handsome. How much for a night? It depends on the package you want to. <laughs> oh she Vardis. How much for full package all night long? No, thank you. I go give you 20k. Hop in. Oh she better customer. <laughs> Baba, I have done it the way you said I should. <laughs> hmm. I can see that. But the lion does not hit an already dead meat. Your sacrifice is not accepted. I don't get you. What do you mean by my sacrifice is not accepted? The lady you used had already been used by another ritualist. She is a walking corpse. Ah! Which one is walking corpse again? I don't get. My son, go and look for another woman. The Federation of Kuzowa, as it is today, needs the efforts of each constituency head to first try to develop their constituencies in order for the areas to thrive and bring about more development. It is why I am wondering why our share of the budget has not been allotted to us. Chief Danfubi, you are just broke at the moment and looking for an avenue to siphon money to your personal pockets. Why is this so important to you? Subai! If it is not important to you fool, then it is important to me because my people need it. If you have nothing to say, shut up your mouth. 
Who are you calling a fool? I'm telling you to shut up. Don't tell me, yo. You are the one I'm calling a fool. If you want to exhibit madness, I will show you I have more madness in me. What are you trying to do? Don't even think it. You want to leave your injured, Abby? No! Leave him! Let him come near me! He will meet his end today! You cannot do anything! Decorum kill you there. Hello, Ben. I have already told you that I'm not far from you. Just walk down to the labor stop. Hurry up, oh. I'm tired of waiting for you. Bye. You could not even send complete transport fare. Is that one boyfriend? <sighs> Listen, my love. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. I had to track down here when I called you. And you said to hurry up. I started running. Sorry about that. If you had a car, none of us would be under this hot sun. We are supposed to be on a romantic date. I'm sorry, Lizzie, dear. Please be patient a little with me. I will spoil you with money and luxury in this life. That's the same song you have been singing since we met. Please, let's go, I beg. Baby, don't worry. I'm here for you. Baby. Yes? You look beautiful, though. Thank you. You are gorgeous from head to toe. I swear. Mm. So you want to pretend as if you can't see that the air I'm carrying is very old? No, baby. It is very nice. You look gang. Turn that fire you there. So Papata has made you blind to the fact that I look a god. Uh uh, Lizzie. Please, it hasn't reached that level. You are fine, I swear to Almighty. Leave me alone, Joe. Which kind of life is this? Come on, eh? You can't give me money to make. And you call yourself a boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, boyfriend. Lizzie, I'll get the money soon. Please give me some time. Eat this money enter now. Now you go chop and pass even me. Where will the money come from? You don't have nothing. Every time I ask you for money, there's always a story for the gods. You will soon smile. I promise you. I want you to be happy. Ever since this relationship started, all you have been giving me are pipe dreams. Happy, without money. Be deceiving yourself there. In fact, I'm tired, self. Lizzie. What's not the essence of this relationship? When you can't even take care of me. I'll get a good job soon. All this will be over, I promise. Please, let's just be going before I get more angry. Let me get us Okada. Let's wait a bit. Mm. I'm coming. How much you go carry is Kenzuki? Two people. Oga, 300 kuzra. Make I give you 200 kuzra. Oga, na 300 with the carry am. One person safe na 150. Baby girl, do you need a ride? Yes! Thank you! Lizzie! What has happened right now? I was standing with Lizzie. Then I said I should get back for us. Then 150, 200, 300 kuzra. Lizzie entered moto. Hey, 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 hey. That's why I no be moto. Na car be that. No the difference. I no blame you. Now because say you see me for a car that you feel they waste my time like this. Thank God say my guy borrow me this ride. Nice car. Thank you. A beautiful babe like you shouldn't be staying under a scorching sun like this. It can burn your skin. Thank you, Dad. I was actually looking for a cab. See, hold on anything you want. I have got the money. And money is meant to be spent. Feel free. You can even buy takeaway stuff. Wow. That's what I love to hear. I would like a plate each of jollof and fried rice. Both with fried chicken. Two donuts. Three meat pies. Two sausage rolls. I don't like meat too much. One shawarma, one hamburger. 
one fruit salad, one big yogurt, one fruit drink, one punch, one white wine, and another tub of ice cream, and three bars of chocolate if there's any because I love chocolate. <laughs> you must be quite hungry. Not really. I'm actually watching my weight. Thank you for today. I really enjoyed myself. You need not thank me. I'm only doing my job. <laughs> and what is your job if I may ask? My job is to take care of you. A beautiful girl like you needs money to maintain herself. You are such a nice guy. It feels like I've known you forever. Can I take you out tomorrow? Sure. Just give me a call. Sure, I will. Lizzie, where are you coming from? Where have you been since afternoon? With the person that carried you in the Benz Abbey? Thank God even saw the kind of car it was. Something you can't afford except for this your legged this Benz. Anyway, isn't it obvious I am done with you? Just like that? You want to throw our two years relationship away for a total stranger? Someone you don't know the source of his wealth? Better concentrate on the source of your poverty. <laughs> So men like this still exist. He spent lavishly on me and didn't even ask for a kiss. Let's talk of sex. Mm, such a gentleman. Lizzie, wait here, Paul. I saw your bubble outside and his look was out of this world. I was asking him why his face was like that and he said I should ask you. Talma, he needs to meet the god of poverty and... In fact, he has already met with the god of poverty, Seth. He just needs to ask why he was chosen to be the carrier of the powers of poverty nonsense i broke up with him today something i should have done since ah, just like that look at these things on the ground just one man bought them for me if you see this man eh clean man clean car and he just wants to take care of me he bought so much for me without as much as asking for a kiss for me does this man have to add Tell ma, does this man have to add? Now wow, all this from one man. One man no. Oh. See, they did not bomb me and bomb poverty next. I have moved to the other side. You better reconsider that your broke boyfriend. I beg, don't bring my boyfriend into this. Share the food where you bring come first, I beg. Let me know the one I'm carrying to my house. It's called party after party, my guy. Drinks on me. You don't cool. You better call Lizzie to ease your sickness. Lizzie, we don't break up with me today. Guy, the relationship don't cast. And you did dance. Make her cry. I beg, I beg, I beg. Adura. We move. Madu. You know the things we did in my head now? Nah? The plans where I get for my life. Break up no reach to weigh me down, I beg. I did think of way forward for my life. Ma. You say if you know now. Nah. It go better. At the end time way we done the sing since. Forget that one, Jerry. I work today now. Nah. Fine, oh. I get one interview tomorrow, Sha. Make it go well, oh. I guess the federal government they do massive recruitment of teachers. Make you just try check them out. No pee. I go check them. Okay, now. Nah. So why your baby break up with you? I'm on a bench, call Samu. Wait, face. Make I upload this video for social media. We the trick. Hashtag break up party activated. Eh? Yeah, not try Amu. <laughs> Too late. Make we watch news, I beg. This one we kept and remember us today, Sha. It was a show of shame today as we saw the House of Assembly in complete disarray. Old men fighting and completely disgracing themselves. Let's take a look. We were told that it took the efforts of the federal police to salvage the situation. <laughs> see our leaders, uh, mad. Uh. Jai, I must see the people with the rulers. See people we suppose they carry this country matter for head to make them better. See them fighting. 
We are obviously not ready to grow. You go better, Sha. I bet forget that thing. As they may tear clothes now. <laughs> That's why you go better, Habi. Guy, you know what? I have been thinking about the high rate of unemployment in this country and how we can use that to our advantage. How do you mean? Just imagine asking job applicants to obtain employment forms. How much do you think we will be making? Jesus! Marcos, you are a genius! But, but, do we have any job to give them? Bros, leave that one. Our own are to form employment consultant. The rest is history. Oh, she baddest! You are welcome to Shorty Consult Limited. We are one of the leading job consultancy firm in the country. We recruit for most of these big companies. So, count yourself lucky to have been invited for an interview. Thank you, sir. I am ready for the interview. We have vacancy in oil company and telecom. Which do you want? Oil company. Good. Before the interview, you will need to purchase employment form. Mm, the form is just... 25,000 Kuzra only. Buy a form? Why? It is to help us keep track of the potential employees and also ensure the speed of the recruitment and employment process. Remember, it is oil company we are talking about here. Your salary wouldn't be less than 500,000 for a start, along with an official car and a furnished apartment. So the 25,000 Kuzra is a peanut. Once you obtain the employment form, you will attach a passport photograph to it, as well as your CV and copies of your credentials. I can assure you, you have the job already. Okay then, let me go and raise the money. I will come back tomorrow. It would have been better if you can raise the money today, so that we can begin the processing already. Don't also forget that we have other applicants on the list. It's first come, first serve. Oh, okay. I will try to come back before the close of work today. Better. Foolish people. Now me who now want scam. Oil company call. Palm oil company me. You go see oil company work on the do consultants. Hmm. What is the way forward for me? If to say I get money, I will just leave this country. Go see greener pasture abroad. But as it be so, my only option now is to acquire a skill or develop that special talent I have. No more procrastination. I have to start immediately. Crazy. He left money. Fifty thousand Kuzra. But why did he leave without waking me? Femi, how late was you? Femo, Mado, Sassy Fresh! I'm sorry, who are you? I know bad rich level when you feel recognize me now. Nah. Now nah, me a maker, the guy when you let you copy me that year. Now nah, me now. Nah. I'm sorry, I don't know you. I'm late for a business meeting. Excuse me. Jesus! It is me that this boy just washed down. Ha! Ha! Then I leave now. Can't you see I'm trying to move out? You don't hear latest news. Waiting! So you never hear for news say government won't ban the Kadao. They don't want us so they operate again. I just tire. Ha! So did they put any measures on ground to ameliorate the blows this week, Dilos? They speak English. Me, I don't they think of alternative like this. That strategy for employment opportunities for the youth that you said you drafted 
Where is it? We see, sir. Look for it, because I didn't take it out of this office. Here yeah, it is, sir. Summarize the details for me. It highlights measures such as creating jobs through a platform called K-Power. It simply means empowering people by giving them jobs that suit their needs. For example, teachers can be employed in public schools and they teach for a number of years. They'll be given laptops, iPads to aid in teaching, then creatives would... That's enough. People are looking for loopholes on me as to where I spend money on. Put that into proper directory for Senate approval. Yes, sir. Or just need your signature, sir. We will run that for a while to make them think we are working. Hmm. I mean, I have approved the budget for each constituency. Senate dares not delay on this one. Also, start taking notes of any candidate that looks like he is gaining more grounds than me. We must crush them. Sir, I still think you should attend the presidential debates. I can put together a team that will prepare you for that. The public are really anticipating these debates. I don't have that time. Baba, it is done. With this, you are already a millionaire. Your wealth shall know no boundary. <laughs> but there are a few warnings. Warning? First, you will need to renew your wealth every three months with a new girl. Okay, Baba. You must be with one member of your family. It may be your mother, sister. Cousin or niece, the important thing is that you must be having with a female family member regularly. Ha! Huh? You must not with a lady twice. The only person you can with regularly has to be a member of your family. Also, you must never sleep at night. If you do, <laughs> You will never wake up again. Ha, ah, Baba. The day you violate any of these rules, you will either die or run mad. And the madness is incurable. Ha, <laughs> ah, why is one? Why are you just telling me all this? You also did not ask me. More so, information like this comes after the ritual. My chairman. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I must confess, you are doing well. Thank God I took enough manpower before coming. You would have won me hands down. Chairman, that is not a free and fair erection, no. Oh. Ahoy! I say ahoy! Oh, that reminds me, I learned the federal government is currently recruiting into the ministries. Yes, the advert is already in the public space. But you know how we do it now. I have people that need this job, bo. Oh. Thank God you have said it now. Because I have five slots left to give out. I will give you two. Really? Make it four, Joe. You know those things I do to you that you like, eh? Try. Okay. Bring four people and all four is certain they will get the job, whether they qualify or not. <laughs> That's why I love you. <laughs> Hey! Wow, Joker! This life is bad! I'm tired of this life, I bet. Just when I, I make an effort to make a living out of my life, something bad happens. Hey! Now, it is government that has decided to ban Okada from operating. I know they did it because of me. They just want to make sure my suffering continues. But they pass all their plans. She if I die, government will not see me to frustrate again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wake up! You like this? You like this? You won't kill yourself for waiting, huh? I'm not tired for this life, man. I'm not tired, babe. If like day, hope day. If one block for come up for us, we the try build. You feel bad, another block take replace some. If you kill yourself now, where's you gain? I gain peace. Upon all the school where you go, you still be complete or dead. If you kill yourself now, you know Sabi saying a hell for you go school enter. Better fire with double decking of firewood for you. Forget that thing. Just mellow. Drop this graduate thing and start with the whole suit. Good morning, sir and madam. Please, I want to submit my application and CV for the ongoing federal government teacher's recruitment. Where is the card? 
Bring it, let me staple it together with your application. Card? Which card? The business card of a high politician. Without that, your application won't be processed. Ah, sir. Ma, I don't know any politician. I don't said about the job and, and decided to apply. I don't have any connections, but I am very qualified, ma. Sir, if you look at my CV. You can go now, sir. You will be notified if you were selected. All the best. Thank you, ma. It is obvious that one lost his way. This committee was set up to look into the misappropriation of 50 million cruiser by Governor Harry Mott. Money meant for innovating public schools in his state. This allegedly misappropriated. The law says I am not guilty until proven otherwise. And I am here to prove that I am innocent. I did not misappropriate any money. Here is a newspaper publication pointing out important facts that paint the accusation as true. On the 24th of September 2019, 50 million kuzra was allotted for the renovation of 10, just 10 public schools in your state and the project has been classified as done. Yet, upon inspection, it was discovered that nothing has been done about it. First. Allow me to finish, please. Allow me to finish. Oh, oh okay. These schools, upon inspection, still look dilapidated. In fact, in even worse condition, to the extent that one could see two lizards mating in one of the cracks on the wall. I mean, I know we have to teach some aspect of biology practically, but does it have to be through a fail system? Can I, can I talk now? Yes. First. We have to define renovation. Renovation means to, to, to renew, to, to revamp, to make so, so, something look new again. For us to be in this house means we know what renovation means. Can you go straight to the point, Arimot? Exactly. That's what I'm trying to do. If you look closely at, uh, at the school, you will notice that all the chalkboards have been replaced with whiteboards. And the material used for making these boards were imported from China so they can last longer. So, only whiteboard is what to spend 50 million kuz on. You recently bought a mansion sitting on a 30 acres land in Plantain Island. How? On your monthly salary? I will come back to that. First, tell us. Break it down for us how you spent 50 million kuz Because this file is saying that the project has been concluded. It has your signature on it. Chai. Governor has fainted though. Governor, Governor, Mots, bring water please. Coke, Fanta. Madu, in fact, this one passed mad. This is madness. I swear you supposed shock. See what in these guys they take our IC. But why call the general public to apply for something that has been given to people already? I swear all of us for this country they mad pa. I do I just weak. I feel like voicing out my frustrations in a public place, but you no know, go get with. Then use social media. Hmm. I'm sure you will think of something. In the meantime, I beg. Sure, you know, go chop that last rice for plates. No even reason I'm going near my rice, too. How are you, young man? Madam Cash, we are not fine. No job, no money. Everything for this country, a man, no man. If it's about the federal government job, I have four slots to sell, oh. Madam Cash, help your boys now. Madam the madam, you know, say we'll be your sure customers. Help us now. Sincerely, I plan to sell each slot for 250k. But as he be say, Una be my customer. Pay 100k each. And na first come, first serve. Eh? 100k? Last. Hey! Can we pay with our first salary? Capital, no. You never hear say na money them they take make money. Go hustle, cause this kind of opportunity fits no come again. Now wow, now your boyfriend they tutor you like this. For where? My boyfriend. Now only one time he they tutor person. This one day, ah, we oh, yeah, tutor me two times, so. Hey, tutor me three times, so, so, so. He they bust my brain. The guy fine, shall. Tell ma, your boyfriend, uncle. I don't know where he is, I beg. Someone that I haven't heard from in like two days. If I call him, he will say he doesn't have money to buy a time. I beg you. Come, 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 see this fresh guy. The guy looks loaded, though. 
Not he looks. He is loaded. I couldn't believe my luck when he's sliding to my DM. Wow. You're lucky, oh. Thank you, oh. He said we will meet after his business meeting in America. Where will you keep your boyfriend now? Where he belongs now? In the past. Sharp babe. No time to doll. Lizzie, what is going on? This one you are looking very lean these days. You sure say you never catch something. Catch what? I don't know. Come on, what is it? I am lean on a normal day. It is just stress and natural fitness. Oh, natural fitness, go. No, you look very different. You're looking almost sick. God forbid. I am very well. My hands are clean now. I hope you're feeling well. Well, I'm just slightly weak these days. I'm sure it's nothing. Try to reduce any stress, please, so. Or more, now it's done rich now now. Make I conclude this chat with this guy, can't they go my house? Girls, sha. Femi! Hello! Femi! Femi! Hello! Mama, when you use phone, you wait more to hear the person's voice now. Ah! Ah! I have been sick for a long time now. No. No money to buy common prasta more. <coughs> more your mother have become a beggar in the village mom am i the one that said you should marry a man that would steal public funds and be caught and i did not tell you to hide in the village mommy there is no money i am working hard yet they just showed me pictures of you in big cars and house you have made people to insult me that I have a big son in Lagos and I'm here begging for food. Ah, Femi! Mama, it is not me you saw. So, I don't know my own son again. Hello? Mommy, hello? Mi ubon koti en soba yo. Hello? Network o darara? Village now has network for social media. I was wondering why you weren't responding to the chats. Sorry. I was in a call with some investors. They want to invest just 50 million into my business. And I'm telling them it is 100 million or nothing. They just wasted my time. Wow. I can't wait to see you, my love. Jamil! I hope you are putting my money to good use, oh. I must win this election again, oh. You can't be collecting all that money as campaign manager for nothing, oh. Don't worry, sir. The seat remains yours. We have bought cartons of Indomie and electric carrion we will share to the people. An estimated 2,000 Kushra cash for residents. Good! That will keep them swayed. I have to go home now. Home? It's a surprise. Cause you don't go home this early. Except for some jollification things, oh. <laughs> Well, I just moved into my new house on the island. I want to fill the place today. Wow. Congratulations, sir. You will live to build more in Thailand and in America, sir. Thank you, thank you. Take this 50,000 Kuzra for this prayer you have given me. Ha! Thank you, sir. Your pockets will never run dry, sir. Your pockets will not tear, sir. Your generation pockets will be bigger than their physical body, sir. Jamil, thank you. But there is no other money coming out again, no. Oh. <laughs> eh, it's not because of the money. It's a genuine prayer, sir. Let me be going. Make sure you record this. Okay, sir. Madam, why are you working this thing now? My son never see work. I need money where I go use job. Oh, yeah, take 100,000 Kuzra. Thank you, wo. God go bless you. 
more money go enter for you. God bless you. Thank you very much. Jama, Jama, no forget us. Hope you captured all that. Yes, sir. Jama, we are. Mama, swale, we are now. What? What? Drinks on me. Jama. Don't worry, ladies. I'm G Boy. Look at them. They want to be like me, but they have no idea how miserable I am. How can I have a mansion? Yet I have to stay out all night so that I won't fall asleep. Hells, I die. Hmm. Why are you calling me at this hour? Guy, you know tell me say na so e be o. Now, I no fit sleep for night. When I was telling you to do it small small, you said no. I should show you my own way. Me, I don't eat fish and meat again and I can't get married. And I lost my sweetest sister. Guy, everybody has their cross to carry. No disturb me by this time with your own cross because I try to warn you against it. Gebu, my son, but Mama, my ears are deceiving me. Mama, it's me, Gabriel. It is really you. You have changed. Where did you get cars from? From the market, Mama. They are mine. Mama, all these are for you. No more suffering. God has answered your prayers. Let us enter inside, so you can tell me the full gist. Where are these girls? Let them start cooking food now, now, so that you can eat. Which girls, Mama? Your twin cousins. Their mother just left them for me and went to marry another man. Fatty, Jane. Let's go inside first. Women grow so fast, oh. What about Jane? Where is she, sir? That's one. She's really a problem child, just like her mother. I don't even know her whereabouts. I'm sure it is one boy that is holding her now. Faith is the only responsible one. Mama, those cars outside. Brother Kebu. When did you come? Long time. You're not a big girl. Did you bring the TV? Who parked those cars outside? Kill him with questions, oh. The car is my son's own. Eh, hey, so you're now a rich man. Hope you bought something for me, Sha. Is the TV not enough? I bought enough to last everyone. Where is the remote? Let's hear what they are saying. Go and prepare water for him to bat, Jare. My son, hope you can still bat in that our bedroom outside. Now that you are Mama, a big man. I'm still a son of the soil, oh. Hmm. God will continue to bless that man that introduced you to this car importation business. So see how fresh you look. Amen, ma. I fetch water for you in the bathroom. Okay, just help me hold the lights there. I'm coming. Yeah, have this. Thank you so much. Ooh! You've grown into a beautiful woman. Don't blame me. Do you mind helping me soak my back? Nobody has to know.
It is really a pity how we celebrate mediocrity of the highest number in this country. Just take a look at the road on which he is standing on, on which his car is passing. Instead of the people to stone him for not giving concern to their plight, especially one that has to do with the roads and drainage system. They are hailing him for giving them their own money. Money he is meant to use for them. It is appalling the degradation of the mind of the average Kuzoian. I am utterly appalled. And I hear he has moved house to Cassava Island. How is this reasonable that a constituency chairman will leave his constituency and live elsewhere? Why can't he live in a chauffeur there and perceive the same hair and smell with his people? But do you think this show he put up? Exactly. You used the right word. It is a show. No, by show, I didn't mean it to be a facade. Mr. Ankor, call it what it is. Why are you scared? Anyway, I don't blame you. Why should I blame you for trying to pick your words when freedom after speech is not guaranteed? Just look at the person the people are praising. He is just sharing less than 2% of the money he was allotted to improve their hospital facilities, road condition, among other public duties. Anyway, I was trying to ask if you think this move by Chief Danforby is geared towards the upcoming elections. I do not think. I know that it is. How can sharing money to these people help their lives? Has he put things on ground to empower the youths? What are we talking about here? Hello, sir. Prepare. <coughs> they said I need to empower the youths. Come up with <coughs> something that is cost effective we can use to empower the youths. This just came in. President of the United States of America has listed Kuzoa as one of the countries it has banned from coming to the United States. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why? <coughs> my properties in the US, my... from coming to America? My God! Was that why you had high blood pressure? They meant in granting permanent visas. It doesn't prevent you from traveling to America. Eh? Ha! Ah, okay. But what is this place? Please. It is the nearest hospital we could take you to now. This place is a hospital? Yes, sir. Please, I am well already. Sir, this might not be an American hospital, but it is better you stay here and get to a first door. Are you now my body? I said I am now better. I want to go home. Ah! Okay. Let me call the doctor to discharge you. No need. I have discharged myself. Just pay whatever bill he's asking for. This place is enough to kill someone's self. The car is outside, Abby. Sir, dear... Uh... Sir. How does it feel being in this kind of hospital as opposed to the hospitals abroad you are used to? How would you rate the condition of the hospital, especially since this is still within your constituency? Please, Chief Danfumbi is still recuperating. It needs space to breathe. Thank you. Why didn't you tell me reporters were outside? I tried to tell you, sir, but I guess you were in a hurry to get out, or you were still in a haze from the fall you had. Good morning. Mind if I join you? Good morning. No. Are you going to work or just going out? Going to work? You live around here? Yes. Egunkuo Street. Oh, I stay at Mogazu Street. You going to work? Yes. What do you do? Job hunting. <laughs> So you don't have a job. <laughs> but I do. I'm a job hunter. Very funny. I'm crossing to the other side to board a bus. Okay, I'm taking a bus here. Can I have your number? Let me have your phone. That is Ben calling. Saved as Justina. We'll save it as Ben. All the best in your job hunt. Thank you, Justina.
come on, if now outside the country now, this our job would have fetched us millions. True talk. You are paid per hour. You can get 20k for an hour job. Multiply 20 by 5 hours. And you have 100k. Multiply 100k by 30 days in a month. That is 3 million in a month. Guys, see as you don't calculate the money sharp sharp. <laughs> ah, <coughs> ah, they make cats who like money. But the reality now say na kuzowa we day. So we guys walk with waiting day ground and make them better for us. The reality. Never you know say a person feel change in reality. If not be say I don't marry, come born children so. I know how to find my way come up for you now. If to say I know one time. I have no marry yet, but look how body they shock me that year. You know make me get sense. I beg, me never mind not to talk upon. Show me the way you serve it to come up for this kuzo one, ah. Huh? Because this girl not money, no they reach anywhere for my side, though. This money and this job, not the kind who graduate like me suppose they do. See this guy where I no book pass for school. The guy don't blow, so they, he they phone say no sabi me. See house, and cast, chai, I must blow. No be fair me be this. Ramon, help me this picture. Even knowing the guy don't popular way la. Now fair me now. Now be the person where you say don't blow. Yes now. Nah. You know see house and lights then. Now fair me your gun moto now. Fair me now driver to the person where get this moto them and out. Ha 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 ha. Ah. Sure this fair me now they talk about. Yes now. Nah. In family be rich before but they say the man embezzled public money. Now he dead prison and then lose all their property. You want to just us him story the time when you still build that mansion you they see for pictures so we follow walk on top of the house now hey i was thinking he, he posts on social media as if it is his property <laughs> <laughs> you better calm down now from crawl person they start to work out. the reason why they do this work so now sick of say make you they see something chop at least you know go they beg for social media what if now from here my waka won't start? I beg, Ramon, tell me what you know about this type of waka. The man you just like to the play and save, save. You know, like to the put matter for something where you know you understand. Hey, Emeka, I go show you the way because I see say you the odds to make this money. You get person where I know, where fit a hint for you to travel. You know what? Not the money them go use travel. Which money you make her get? She be you know they interested. Why they take Panadol on top of the guy Eddie? See, hey, Maker, this guy gets connection and the money. If it help you travel, then when you reach for there, he go even connect you with job and then you go come to pay him small, small. Now it won't be that. Wow. Imagine person work for this life, not to just def help people find their destiny, to they make him. God go bless him, mo. I beg, when I fish him? No worry, I will carry you go the man office. You know they look this the major. The major slow die. If only you know they ought to make this money. <laughs> That's one concern now. Nah. All I won't talk now nah, say suffering, suffering, they find money. Before you go find another thing. Hey maker, you know say I they wish you better. Me, I know if you stop your progress. <laughs> Hello, darling. Hello? Hello? I'll call you back later. Enjoy, baby. I can take care of you. The cars and mansion all prove that I am capable of taking care of you. This one I'm hearing music blasting in the background. I hope he's not partying with another girl. Anyway, once we finally meet, he would have no choice but to do away with the girl. <laughs> Babe, how far now? You did not even say you should call me. Call you for what now? What is your usefulness in my life that I'll be wasting my credit to call you? Baby, why are you talking like this? Where have I gone wrong? You went wrong in your pocket. You and your pocket have gone wrong. Please, this relationship is over. Claro Jare, let's make sense men see me to toast a beg. You want to throw our three years relationship away just like that? Three years of dating with nothing to show for it. It's not about how long, but how well. And now one day, person they get sense. Today, I don't get sense. Tell ma, tell. Today, I present to you this three bios. 
Use them to make your life better. Use them to empower yourself and use them for good. Also, these stoves are for our mothers. We care about our mothers so much, we must not neglect them. <laughs> what a speech! What an empowerment concept! And look how happy they are. Yes, I am happy to have contributed my quota in the lives of the people. I feel their pain as my own. <laughs> he said he feels the pain. This man just boldly told his people to their faces that he wants their sufferings to continue. He hopes they continue pushing wheelbarrow all their lives. <laughs> we are doomed from the bottom to the top. That is the job or empowerment is giving his youth and they are jubilating. We are a nation that celebrates money above value. That is why we can celebrate thieves and mediocrity as long as they wear money as apparel. Wait, how did your job hunting go? Terrible. Same story of we will get back to you. But I'm hopeful, Sha, even though it's tiring, the only one that said I can resume immediately was a private school that offered to pay 20k. Do you want to take it? If I'm left with no choice. Nothing is easy in this country. Even if you want to start up your own business, the system doesn't make it any easier. Once you set up something just in front of your house, you will pay money. You place your business name on your shop. Signage, right? Yes, signage. You pay for that too. It's not just easy, but we'll have to keep trying. We have no choice. Waiter! Thank you for picking up the tab. It's nothing. Let's go. I parked just in front. I didn't know you have a car. It's just a small car, Jerry. I don't take it out during the week so I can beat traffic to get to work. Let me check. Try now. No problema. You need to take your car for service in do. You should take what your friend said about you finding a way to air your job hunt frustration seriously though. Social media opens way for a lot of people if you can maximize it well. Coming from an advertising guru herself, I'll take it seriously ma'am. <laughs> Hope your journey was not too stressful. How can it be when you sent your driver to pick me up at the park? Inside that air-conditioned car. It was not stressful, Jare. I'm glad you are here. I made a mistake not collecting your number, but I'm glad you reached out. I asked her. I wanted more of what you gave me the last time. The money? That. But also the other thing you gave me the last time. Where did you tell Mama you were going to? I told her I was going to the next village to sleep over at my friend's. The poor woman doesn't know I'm in Lagos already. <laughs> Smart girl. Let's go to my bedroom. Hello, Baba. Where did you put your phone? I have been calling you since. I was sleeping, you know, I only get to sleep in the afternoon. So I try to get enough sleep so that I can stay awake through the night. Bele, anyway, the reason I called you is to remind you that your renewal is due. Between
between now and the next three days, you must provide another girl. Oh, that's true. Don't worry, wise one. I will eat the streets right away to get another one. And don't forget, you can't sleep with any girl twice. It must be a new girl. And after using her, you must never sleep with her again, apart from your relative. I know that already. Thank you, Baba. Hey, pretty lady. Hi. Wow, your beauty is radiating. My name is G-Boy. I'm from Milan. Okay, where are you going? Let me give you a ride. A beautiful lady like you should not be walking alone. I'm actually going to see a friend, but I wouldn't mind some adventure. <laughs> nice one. Adventure is my hobby. Let's go have some fun. See this Mumuji boy, oh, it is a day smart. He wanted unprotected sex. Ala Koba, me, Pamela. Hey, he wants to give me STI, Mumu. You didn't even know I use a female condom. What? My God! Hey! God! I'm not sure of you work oh. What if I had agreed to have all potential sex with G-Boy? Is this how he could have deposited my God few spam into my body? Goodness! God! Thank you for saving my life. I promise to turn a new leaf. I'll be a good girl from today onward. Thank you, Lord. Welcome to the Congress Hall of the Orububu Hotel here in Kuzowa's capital of Ibuga for the presidential debate organized by the KEDG Kuzowian Election Debate Group and BOK, the broadcasting organization of Kuzowa. I am your moderator, Zumber Kalawi, and the debate is live on all channels in Kuzowa and across the globe as well as on YouTube, Twitter, and other social media platforms. Now, tonight, you witness history as the candidates fight to convince you that they deserve your vote to be the next president of the Federal Republic of Kuzowa. Let's get right to it. The first question goes to Mr. Demola Danzulu of the KFP. What compelled you to run and why should Kuzowians give you their vote? Fellow Kuzowians, my name is Demola Danzulu and I am the presidential candidate of the Kuzowian First Party. Kuzowa, my country, is in dear need of quality leadership. I want my wife to think you follow me on this trip. Park the car in a place that is safe. I will call you tomorrow to tell you where you can pick me up. Okay, sir. But why don't you want me to drive you? My friend, just do as you are told. It is this kind of question that can make you to lose your job. Okay, sir. Now, wow, this guy did disturb. Ah, anyway, I don't get a time now. Hello, baby, when are we meeting now? Are we going to keep doing online dating? Okay, I just finished for the day. Where are you? Let me pick you up. <gasps> I'll text you the address now. Okay, that thing should be fine. I go give them today.
Babe, what are we doing here now? This is my house now. Uh -uh. Enter now. You are welcome. This guy must be testing me. <laughs> he came to rent this horrible place so he would find a girl that would love him for him and not his money, Abby. <laughs> Don't worry, Femi. I am not going anywhere because I must pass this test. Um, nice place. Nice. You're the first girl to tell me my place is nice. I told you I must pass this test. Uh, nice bed too. Why are you still standing? Won't you join me? Do you understand? Yes, I do. Take your assignment on page 42 of your textbook. Exercise 23. See you in next class. I beg. They did not tell me they were in this school. Though. This is the fourth month now. No show on top of the small salary. <laughs> Welcome to our school. We that came before you are being old. Six months. Uh, please. I actually came to indulge your patience over your salaries. By God's grace, you will be paid by month end. Please, in the meantime, Mr. Ben, you will be taking the senior class, one to theory biology. In addition to the agri science, I'm taking both junior and senior, and basic tech, I'm taking the junior ones. Yes, let me see your lesson notes before Friday, please. And this goes for all of you. Thank you. I've sent you the 50k now. You haven't seen the halax? I've sent it, I've sent it. Check your balance. Now wow. Now only for you I see say them the whole person. Them still they give them more work to do. Bros, I know they even depend on their salary for you. Anytime he come, he come. Really? Guy, now only here be my hope. Oh. Even transport fare to go ask now. I not get. Hey ya. Yeah. I will give you transport. No worry for that one. Thank you boss. What you they do? Maybe you fit employ me, yo. Now piracy, yo. All these movies, I go dump and put them for CD. After here now, for night, I they go sell my market. I beg down on our fence for country now. What if them catch you? Who won't catch? Forget that thing. If you be interested, make you come join me. So you want to start piracy business now? I see the reason now, but I'm not sure. One thing I did show off, be say, I don't want to go to that school to teach again. Me, I support that one. The workload too much. And them still the whole person on top. Now, so all these private schools, they do. Them go use you, eh? But to pay you better money now, wala. They will employ one teacher. We go, they teach the whole school, the whole subject. And still price and 10k. Chai! But that piracy matter, I beg. I don't want anything where I go, do we, go come give me problem later, I beg. My past is day prison. I don't want anything we who can make me join out for prison. I don't do Jerry. True talk, Sha. Hope say the man the cope, Sha. Now money ya person. If not, I'd have got another lawyer to take up his case. It is well, Sha. I even hate going to see him because it breaks my heart to see him there. I know my hands are tied. It go better. I'll call you tomorrow to yeah, tell you where now. you can pick me the up. Way they seriously okay, press this thing. Person good thing see be dry cleaner. Make the shirt day creeps now. Creeps go. Cuckoo open laundry shop, they show the talents now. Nah. Nonsense! What are you thinking about? No go burn your clothes. Guy, you be genius. You just gave me a great business idea. Tomorrow I go, they walk out from house to house. They ask for their dirty clothes. I go wash and iron them for free. The next one, them go, they pay. Ah, wow. See, I said they dish out wisdom without even knowing safe. The Holy Spirit speaks through me, you. Oh, day. <laughs> you tomorrow to tell you where good morning mr ramon good morning mr k how work now we thank god though it's just that when i help people travel out once they get there they just forget the commitment they made to pay back people are wicked though human beings eh Chai! this friend here wants to travel out but he is different once you help him, he won't forget you. That line has become like a song to my ears. 
I hear it every time with no different results. Anyway, what is your name? My name is Emeka Mwama Dioha. Tell me a little more about yourself. I am the only son of my mother. When she died, my father married another woman. This my stepmother is always laughing at my poverty. I want to show her that I can make it too. Then my classmate Femi has been oppressing me on Instagram with his luxurious lifestyle. Though I just recently found out he's living a lie. But I too want to make money abroad. So when I come back, I'll be oppressing my own back. Okay. So, where would you like to go to? America. United States of America, sir. USA, as with most European countries, has tightened their belts on who enters their country. It's nearly impossible to enter there. Ha! But one country most people fail to look closely at is Libya. Libya is an oily state and has a lot of wealth. You can practically pick off the ground. Take me to Libya then. I promise that as soon as I start any money, I will send you whatever cause you accrued on me. Alright. Let me see what I can do. They work for the money. As they also tired, you know, funny. It's shy, they lose some money. It's shy, they lose some money. You go, yeah. They say, then say, I know they try. I they pull up here, yeah. I they also try. Go so who say, my man, channel, party, but you look good, my two big guitar. Mr. Man, respect yourself. You have no access to the VIP section. So, go back. Now, me now, G Boy. You don't remember me again? Where did that shoot our money anyhow? That is why we have been leaning with you. So respect yourself and go back. See life. When you have money, everybody will want to be around you. The moment you're broke, they will hold some back. I know one want so far. I know one Lizzie, I'm pregnant for Femi. Oh, eh, that's good now since he has money. Have you told him? Not yet, but I will tonight. All right. In between, Lizzie, are you sure you're okay? This is not you. Oh, you look pale. I think it's malaria. I just got some malaria drugs. I'm sure I'll be fine by the time I'm done taking them. Okay, oh. Babe. Hmm. Tell me the important thing you want to tell me now. Or don't you like your ice cream? I like it, babe. Um, I, I, I am pregnant. You say? Babe, you heard me now. Let's talk about this when we get to my place. I need to drop this car somewhere. What about the groceries you bought? How are we going to carry it? The groceries will be dropped in the same place. The car will be dropped. Wow. He is finally bringing me to where he lives. I passed his test. And now we're going to be one big happy family living in this big house. Babe, I'm coming. job here lady you must be the cook or the cleaner and hope you know how to be a nanny too because very soon you'll be one my dear are you the gardener here young lady why are you don't raise your voice at me my husband to be would not take it lightly who is this so-called husband Tell me of course 
All this drama you both are putting up, self. Who do you think you are deceiving? You think I don't know this is your side chick, eh? So now you have the mind to disrespect me and bring guy into my house, Abi? What's this one talking about? Who are you calling this one? <laughs> Sluts like you. Good evening, ma. Sir, I've been looking inside the house for you. Who are you calling ma and sir? Can't you see that I've been slapped by this old woman here? You should fire them immediately. Fire who? Them. My boss. I should fire my boss. <laughs> what are you even doing here? I thought they were your workers in your house. Which house is his house? Our driver Child. now owns our house. Driver? Please, ma. I did not tell her that this is my house. So. Before I open my eyes, carry your whatever she is to you out of my sight. Nonsense. Oh, yeah, you heard my madam. Let's go. Or you want to chop another slap? In fact, she should kneel and apologize to me now. Oh, yeah, kneel. I don't want to lose my job. Oh. Kneel fast, fast. Hey, my life. Oh. Kneel now. I, 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 am, I am sorry, ma. Get out, my friend. The groceries are in the car, ma. Should I take them inside? No, the maid will do that. You can go. See how you just accuse me wrongly now. Hey, 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 hey. Just because this wasn't your making does not mean you are innocent. Oh, one day I will cash you and disgrace that slut. Nonsense. Who is there? It's me, oh Baba. Oh, G boy, coming. Baba, something is wrong, oh. Ah, what is it? Wise one, me, G-Boy, the biggest boy in town, have become a shadow of myself. My riches are dwindling and disappearing before my eyes. Did something go wrong with the last renewal ritual last month? Because this didn't happen before. Please help me, Baba. What is it, wise one? Indeed, something is wrong. You have failed to deposit your semen in the last lady you slept with. No, Baba. I did. I released in her. The lady played a smart one on you. Oh, shit. This girl is damn smart. What should I do? You have to find another woman. This time, three different women. And you have just three days. Okay, Baba. I will make sure I get it done before three days time. You just been so nice to me. The food, the money, the job links, and the effort you make in trying to get my dad out. I wish I could repay you somehow. Thank you so much. It's nothing, Jerry. As for your dad, my lawyer friend seems to show interest in his case. It's just that she's been so busy with other cases lately. But I'm sure she'll make out time for it. Let's be hopeful. Thank you so much, Justina. I don't know how to appreciate you. Don't mention. How's your friend Adura? He is more than fine, Seth. He's already starting up his own business, but he gets clients mostly from social media. The kind of graphics he uses on his page to advertise his laundry business, eh? One would think he lent it or he paid for it. There are apps that have prepared design templates already now. You just need to edit it. See me now? I didn't know that, but he's doing fine. That's good to hear, really. Speaking of social media, did you hear about a girl that went viral? She had 400 in her results, but her parents are so poor, they don't even understand the value of what her score means. Yeah, I heard of it. Man, 400 out of 400. I heard she had to hawk on the street to raise money for her phone. I hope some good Samaritan notices her and gives her a scholarship or something. Such brains should not waste. Hmm, I can't seem to wrap my head around this. What is that? I was supposed to come up with a TV ad for an energy drink called Boulder. Nothing is coming to my head, and the one chosen is supposed to get an award recognition. Let me take a look. Dad, I have this friend who has been gracious to engage the services of a lawyer friend to help you. She just wants to clear the work with her first. Let's just be hopeful this time. Okay, my son. It is good to see you. How is life treating you? It has not been easy. 
I'm here to get a job. And the one I managed to get, it is a meager salary that they still owe me again. It's been rough, daddy. But I'm still pushing. It is well, my son. It is well. Your time don't collapse, so. Oh. I don't like the attitude I'm getting from the public. Which attitude do you want? They should be churning teeth with you, Abby. It's as if the presidential debate I did not go to is making them angry somehow. Well, sir, you are bigger than the people. So, there was no need for you to have attended, sir. I can smell sarcasm, Dele. You better find a way to salvage the situation. Well, sir, if it pleases you, there's a girl currently making the news now. She scored 400 over 400, but currently do not have any sponsor to further her actual studies. And she puts in for medicine and surgery. So, how does that help my political career? When will you have sent this man? Well, you can seize the moment and win the love of the people. Even though we know you don't really need their love. You can invite the girl to Akko Villa, have the media cover the event, and you promise to sponsor her university education. What if I sponsor just uh, one year? Stingy Coco Man. Sponsoring her entire studies would be more effective, sir. Besides, she's applying to a federal school. It's not that expensive, not to the president of the Federal Republic of Kuzoa anyway. Hmm, okay, make it happen. All these things usually fade away. By the time I sponsor one or two sessions, Kuzoans will forget about it. Then I can just withdraw from the commitment. And leave her hanging? Is she a conductor that she will be hanging? She is a lady. I'm sure she can find her way around the remaining years. They will tell your daughters this nonsense you just said. Ah! I just feel the people will chase you out of this Akko Villa, out of these seats. Then your eyes will clear. Why are you still standing there looking at me? Is the map to the girl showing on my face? No, sir. I'll get onto it, sir. That was an outstanding result you had, and I believe you deserve to study whatever you want to study, wherever you want to study. That is why I'm offering you a scholarship that covers tuition and a stipend for your entire duration in school. Thank you, sir. But you really mean wherever I want to study? Yes. Then I'd like to study in Canada. <clears throat> why is that? Because medicine takes seven years excluding service here and housemanship and the strikes in the country makes it longer to finish. <clears throat> the strike will definitely not continue as there is a committee that has been set up to look into their grievances. Okay, sir. Thank you so much for the opportunity you have given to me, sir. I really appreciate it. I won't let you down, sir. I believe you won't. Thanks for coming. Thanks for inviting me, sir. Make sure you make wise use of this opportunity while it lasts. Don't misuse anyone. Yes, sir. I won't. That girl just embarrassed me. I just publicized my own mockery. I wish every Kuzoian can embarrass you like that girl. You wouldn't have lasted this long on this seat. Don't take it personally, sir. Your actions towards her is what is more popular. People are commending you for coming to her head. You are winning back the love of the people. Really? Yes, sir. Then I did a good job. Yes, sir. You did a good job. You must be the cook or the cleaner. And hope you know how to be a nanny too, because very soon you'll be one. My dear. Are you the gardener here? Young lady, who are you? Don't raise your voice at me. My husband-to-be will not take it lightly. Who is this so-called husband? Semi, of course. All this drama you both are putting up safe. Who do you think you are deceiving? You think I don't know this is your side chick, eh? So now you have the mind to disrespect me and bring her into my house, Abby? What's this one talking about? Who are you calling this one? Sluts like you. Good evening, ma. Sir, I've been looking inside the house for you. Who are you calling ma and sir? Can't you see that I've been slapped by this old woman here? You should fire them immediately! Fire who? Them! My boss? I should fire my boss? <laughs> what are you even doing here? I thought they were your workers in your house. Which house is his house? Our driver Child. now owns our house. Driver? Please, ma. I did not tell her that this is my house. So. Before I open my eyes, carry your whatever she is to you out of my sight! 
Nonsense. Oh yeah, you heard my madam. Let's go. Or you want to chop another slap? In fact, she should kneel and apologize to me now. Oh yeah, kneel. I don't want to lose my job. Oh. So from here like this, I'll go to the abroad. Yes, this is the cheapest route and it's not easy at all. Take this briefcase with you. When you get there safely, I will get in touch. I wanted to ask how, since I don't have a number. Don't ask then. Now inside this thing I go enter. Do you want to make it? I won't make it, but this one, I didn't imagine it this way. It's too late to turn back now. Get in now before the guys bundle you in. Best Advert Writer Award for the year goes to Justina from AMS Advertising Agency. Thank you, thank you. I'm happy to be a recipient of this award category. It's quite an honor to be found worthy to stand here today. But I can't take the glory alone. While I might have seen to the smooth production of this ad, I would like to mention and appreciate the person behind the idea. Mr. Ben, please join me in receiving this award. Thank you so much for the idea and staying up late to put this into graphics form for the presentation. My pleasure, Justina. How do you feel being up there receiving the award with Justina? I felt good. To have what you did appreciated feels more than good. I'm happy and I'm happy for Justina as well. I just got a business card. Cool, let me see. My goodness, CEO of Denfort Agency himself? For that man to approach you himself, it means he sees potential in you. You just might be on your way to bagging a good job with good pay. I hope so. All thanks to you. Oh, please. But I'm serious. Africa, the shiny nuts. <sighs> 
I swear, I don't know anything about the drug. It is Mr. K that gave me to give to someone in Libya, sir. Tears of war. Yeah! Lizzie! Um, oh my god, Lizzie! Let me let me let me take you to the hospital. Um, take me to my father. What? I'll take you to the hospital, please. This is a medical emergency. I've gone. I've been going. Okay, I will, I will. Who is knocking on my door like that? All these customers have. Ah, uh -uh. Tema, what is going? Elizabeth, what is wrong with my daughter? Good evening, sir. Lizzie has not been feeling fine for some time now. I, I just came home this morning to see her like this, shaking uncontrollably. I wanted to take her to the hospital, but she said I should bring her here. I don't know what to do, sir. Put her down, put her down, put her down. Hey. Hear me an answer. My daughter is half dead. What is going on? What's her? I am coming. What? Ritual? Oh, my daughter. Whoever did this is in trouble. The fool must die. I will place a curse on them. No one places their hand on the apple of my eyes and goes scot free. They will see. Ari Guinea. Ari Guinea. Ari Guinea. Guinea. Waja. Tumani Badari Sakwa. Akwa Akwa. Tumani Badari Soroko. Yuroko Akko. Ento Pagunuku. Cooking Kadu, any Bagalamago, cooking Koshu, whoever has a hand in my daughter's illness will know no peace. I have lived up to my promise of providing jobs for the youths through my U Power initiative, which a lot of youths have benefited from. Oh, a scam! It's under this initiative that the standard that federal teachers thing I applied for. We go still need connection to get the job safe. I am sure it is this man that would win. All the other candidates that made more sense during the presidential debate are not going anywhere. Why do you say so? Because that is just how it is. I disagree. It is because that is how we choose it to be. If this man wins again, and we do nothing about it, despite the fact that it is glaring he is making a fool of us, then we are just a mass of people who have made a choice to continue with the human turbulence that belies this nation. True, do. But I think what Adora is saying is that, even in the midst of the choices, it is looking like we have no choice. Really? You have no choice to vote out a man that has done nothing about the increasing unemployment among the youth, about the increasing level of crime, about the increase in price of fuel, the exchange rate keeps getting higher and higher, the roads are terrible, no security anywhere, and the health and education system is in disarray. Having less qualified people as personnel, and the ones who are qualified, are looking for a way out. Is that what you're saying we have no choice to vote out? My money, eh? Your baby, the para go. It wish to para, Jari. I wish we can all para and do something. But para, we don't para. Do something, we do nothing. Justina. In the place of choice, where do you also put the election map practice and rigging that happens? Inside our pockets. Because it is still fellow Kuzumians that have chosen to be selfish, condescending idiots that creates the room for our practice to occur. Who prints the fake ballots? A fellow Kuzumian. Who thumbprints on the ballots? Fellow Kuzumian. Who steals electoral materials? Fellow Kuzumian. So, choice matters in all of life endeavors, my dears. So you see, 
I am capable and therefore promise to do more to take Kuzoa to the next episode in national development. Up KVP Movement for the People. My only daughter, pride of her father, please take me up. I don't want to lose you. Mommy, I am already between the land of the living and the dead. You shall not cross to the great beyond. It is not time for you to die. Oh, go on, do you know me? Go on, Okay, go on, go on. Oh, go on, do you know Go on, go on, go on. Okay, go on, go on. Mommy, the snake has beaten its own tail. Hey, what? Cashew, whoever killed my daughter will know no peace. I curse you today. Your life shall be miserable. You shall move from one problem to another. But wait, I So shall it be. Can I see your VIP tickets? Spider, Nami now, G boy, young money. No ticket, no entry. Can you step back to avoid embarrassment? Nami, oh, G boy. Okay, can I see the manager? Alaye, she back. This love is not for broke guys. Now wow, what a life. Just yesterday when I had money, these idiots used to worship me. Now they bounce me just because I'm broke. What do I do now? My money is gone, but the taboos are still very much effective. I can't sleep at night. God, what have I got myself into? You must never sleep at night. If you do, <laughs> you would never wake up again. Oh yeah, just package two noodles inside nylon. Then these electric irons, yeah. You are not to share the electric iron anyhow. Maybe after 200 people have collected noodles, you give out one electric iron to one person. Then wait for the next 200 people that will collect noodles again. Like that, like that. Oh yeah, let's move. Don't forget to vote for Shiv Dan Fubi for a Shofa constituency. Shiv Dan Fubi! He don't tell where I start to rebuild the house. But now small small I did do him. Um, one block at a time. I believe say one day I go finish him. Um. True talk sha. Me too I don't start to pay small small for one land for a Korodu. The area never developed but I sure say in 10 years time. You go don't open eye well. Uh. This one way person never hear from America so. I hope say it did fine. If you don't the ball, forget all safe. Ah, I just wish I had chosen to make it in life small small. <gasps> My lack of patience has landed me in nothing but dream. <laughs> ah, My people for Kuzo I go see say I don't they all zoo. They no go know say I did so far for you. You no go better for you so when let me come this side though. Our area makes sense again. Mommy, daddy, auntie, brother, our area not supposed to be like this. 
The reason why he still there like this, na sake of say, person they keep money for him pockets to chop a loan. Money where he suppose use better we area. This kind thing no fit happen if na me there for the seeds of on a repo. I go make sure say money where suppose enter on a go enter. As tomorrow be election, make one no forget to vote for me. We did your back, honorable Agbabiaka. We no say you mean well. Tomorrow. We go surely vote you, don't worry. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All those people outside wait they on that song be mumu. Them just they waste their time. Hey hey hey. No be by who no book. Oh. Now by who know the way. So just they beat those voters for outside. Who they deceive them, say their votes they count. See the one where they count for year. Today, Kuzoians have chosen to be on the right side of leadership. I will not fail to continue the good work for Kuzoa. We keep moving. Thank you, fellow Kuzoians, for choosing me again. This time, the movement I promised you, that is what is going to happen. KVP, Movement for the People. Chai! Movement to greater wars indeed. Madam. Ah, honorable Bagbiaka. Well done, madam. What thing happen? On a talk on I go vote for me. Yet for election, now only one person vote for me. And I sure see that person and me. So now only me vote for myself. Ah, uh, sir, no verse so. That night, eh, people from Chief down for this side can dash us two, two thousand kuzra each. You, you no give us anything, now only talk you they talk. You know the pot of soup where I use that two thousand kuzra cook. So now why yo, we just shift brother go down for this side, no verse sir. It's okay, you people have made your choice, you have to live with it. I knew it was you, even though you look different. How are you? I'm fine. Kelvin, is this your car? Yes. Where are you going? Let me give you a ride. Ako Junction. Alright. Hop in. The back seat is open. Thelma, meet my fiancé Tolani. Tolani, this is the ex-girlfriend I told you about. Oh. I see. Are you married now? I think you just found me today to humiliate me. Please stop the car, let me calm down. I don't understand. Stop the car! See Kelvin, no. So this guy can make it in this life. Give me like 30 minutes, please. Ah, 30 minutes, here. What are you doing? Who put this door, job? All right, sugar. I'll call you if I need more sugar from you, eh? You better close your mouth before fly enters. My boss wants to sponsor my master's program outside the country. What? Wow! That's a huge favor. Are you for real? I am serious. I really can't believe it. That's a huge investment in you. You have found favor in Mr. Denford's eyes. Well, he said I've been able to bring in more clients to his company. Big clients, specifically. And he wants to appreciate me for my honesty being in his company. Plus, on my own, I've saved fairly enough to help in living expenses. He just be paying the tuition, which is two years, twice. So when do you want to begin the process for applying to schools outside? As soon as you accept my proposal to be my girl. Ben. I don't know where I'd be right now if I hadn't met and talked to you on the street that day. But I believe fate brought you to bless me. You're my blessing, Justina, and I intend to keep you for life. <sighs> 
I'd come back for you. Just say yes. And that you wait for me. Yes! And I'll wait for you. Oh, and something else. Remember that my lawyer friend that I told about your dad's case? Yeah? Well, she's here. I told her to come meet with us here. Of course, I didn't know you were going to propose. Justina! Hey, my badass lawyer girlfriend. Look at my finger. <gasps> oh my god! It's so beautiful! You didn't tell me it was a serious affair. <laughs> Hi, you must be the young man that Justina has been talking about. Yeah, yes. Congratulations. Love, love. <laughs> love <laughs> always wins. Love always wins. <laughs> yes, it always wins. Okay, let me introduce you. Ben, this is Zef. Zef, this is Ben, my man. I guess you guys have skipped the part where you say, it's my pleasure to meet you. Anyway. So, first, I, I hear... No, you go ahead. No, I'm sorry. You go first. No, you go first. I swear I'm going to go first if one of you doesn't go first. <clears throat> well, I was going to say that I've never lost a case. And I don't intend to start with your father's case. I just want you to have faith and confidence that when I take up this case, we are getting your father out. I believe you. Thank you so much. So, how is Monday looking? I'd like to meet with my client. Hi, baby. Whoa, whoa. Zarua? What the hell are you doing in my house? I just wanted to surprise you. Thought you would be happy to see me. Well, you thought wrong. You can't just barge into my house and expect me to be happy. What are we now? A couple? How did you even get in? You gave me a specky, remember? Great. Now hand it over and get out. What? It's late. Why so fiesty? I said hand over my keys and get out. And I don't even want to see you again. If you don't leave now, I swear to God, I'm going to blow your brains out and call it self-defense. Okay, I'm going now. <sighs> oh, Ben, Ben, Ben. Where do I start explaining from? <laughs> So, what do you think? Is it hot? Don't you think it's too early to talk about a man? Oh, please, just answer the question. What does it matter? You already said yes to the man. What is wrong with you, Saif? Okay, he is a fine young man. Happy? You are just a killjoy. I was thinking I'd have a partner to jump around with. What kind of machine did you gym with today? Jump around over a man? You should know me better than that. There's an extra iciness here. At least pretend to be happy for me. Girlfriend, I am happy for you. But to start jumping with you because of that, uh-uh. Whatever. If you don't mind, I have to study for your man's father's case. Study ke? My exam? Wait, so I should go? Okay, -o. Madam Lawyer, I don't understand this mood, Seth. Maybe you've gymmed your brain to knock. I just wasted all that fuel down here to your place. <sighs> Ben, 
Are you cooking anything or we should order breakfast? Ben Ben Eh? What? I've been calling you. What were you thinking about that has got you into space? Oh wait. You said you were going to propose to Justina last night. Did she say no? She said yes. That's great! So, why do you look unhappy? Zefner. What? Zef, you remember those gist I told you about my friends Emeka and Gabriel? Yeah, and the pact you guys made. There was this girl in the picture, who I really loved, and we were brewing our love. She was a great supporter to my family at that young age. Okay. We like each other, and not just friendship. We already passed that, and just like that she left. Her family moved out, and I, I never saw her again. I haven't stopped thinking about what must have happened all these years. Hey, yeah. Uh, wait. So? So I saw her yesterday. She's the friend of Justina, who is going to be representing my father. Oh boy, Madu. But that was in the past now. I know. But I can't, at this point, seem to get her out of my head. I really wish to know what happened. Does Justina know you guys know each other? That's the thing. I don't know why it's so hard to let her know I know Zev before now. I feel like I'm cheating on her already. Guy, I don't know what to tell you, except that you should not ruin what you have. Oh. Hmm. So, I took a look at your case file, and I noticed the lack of proper representation and uh, unfair judgment, if I must say. So, the supposed uh, chief Garibo accused you of robbery, and the evidence was just with the word of his mouth. On that night that he said you robbed him, can you establish an alibi apart from family members? Ben, I no understand. She's asking if you were somewhere else at the time when Chief Garuba said you robbed him at going point. Yes, I did my mouth agree about the drink. And at that day, when one man, when they leave the area, go to rejoice born, he come to celebrate for bar. Now me lead the prayer to bless him as he buy drink for us for bar. He said, Oh, don't worry. I can fully comprehend pigeon English now. <laughs> so, uh, this is a good enough place to start with. I'm gonna have to visit this Chief Gariba and open a conversation. Be assured, you are leaving this place with a lot of compensation. Hmm. Time don't already go well, well. I understand. But it's never too late. At least. We are looking towards a big amount leaving his hands to you as your compensation. Not looking towards. We would definitely get the compensation. Somewhere around 20 to 30 million. Thank you so much, Zef. Only doing my job. You always seem to find a way to save the day for me and my family. How's your mom? She's fine. She would be delighted to hear about you now. Yeah. My car is my car is parked there. You have a ride? No. Let me drop you off. Mr. President, I think focusing on local products would greatly enhance the economy. And a boosted economy will make you be in the good books of the people. Who cares about any good books? My cousin is into the business of local rice. He's been complaining of how business is not good because Kuzoweans like to patronize foreign rice. I want his business to thrive, so we have to stop all importation of rice. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we could close the borders, but before you... Yes! Closing of borders. Why didn't I think of that? That's good thinking. I should order that. But before doing that, you have to ensure the right environment for local rice production, sir. The reason why people prefer foreign rice to local rice is mainly because of the presence of the stones in them. If you create an environment to ensure that production is neatly done so that Kuzumians are eating a healthy rice. Too much talk. Sir, just closing the borders like that would cause a lot of uproar from Kuzumians. Kuzumians know how to adapt to change. So for how long are we going to keep pretending that we don't have something to talk about? I don't know what to say. I still can't believe I, I get to see you again, Zef. Me too. I thought the same way too. Ben, I mean, you just left without a word. Do you know how stupid I felt when I got to your house and your gitman told me you guys had moved out? This looks more like the reaction I was expecting. Ben, I'm sorry. 
I've felt the guilt all these years. My parents just decided one night that we were to leave to a new house on the island. I later found out my dad was scared people would take advantage of me and use me to scam them out of money. I missed you, Ben. Every day. There is no day I didn't think of you. Same as if I moved from worry to anger to just feeling indifferent. But in all the emotions, I didn't stop thinking of you. I am set to leave for New York to further my studies in three months, Zef. Now it's your turn to go away. <sighs> I'm not really in your life, Zef. Do you love her? Do you love her? I love her. You don't sound so sure. Let's just focus on getting my father out. If you say so, but I'm not going to lose you again. Not when I can help it. <laughs> 30 million Kujra settlement or risk dragging your company through all the attention from the media. You knew what you did by playing against an innocent man so you can have all the money to yourself. Chief Garuba, you know you would go down as that thief who rubs his sin on the garment of an innocent man. But this case was set too long ago. Don't waste my time and sign the papers and all this would go away. <sighs> Enjoy your day like I wasn't here, but prepare the money within two days or... Daddy, I'm here. Ben, my son, I survived that place. Yes, Dad, you did. I dare free like this. Yes, you are. Not only that, you have 30 million Kujra given to you as compensation. I get money. Ben, she talks says she go do her more. Yes, Daddy, let's go home. Daddy. Mom is waiting for you. Hey! My husband don't go more! Hey! Chai! Mama Ben! Mama Ben! I don't come! I don't come home, I don't free, and then give me plenty money, then give us 30 million kuzra. Hey! 30 million! 30 million! 30 million! No shout, no shout, no let people hear. See the girl will help us, oh. Mommy, you should remember Zefner. How I no go remember this sweet girl? My picking, thank you very much. Me self shock. Why better tell me say? I see you again, but you see as God they do things, God go bless you. Thank you, Ma. I am really happy to have helped. Besides, I was only doing my job. Being humble, huh? Hello, baby. Yes, dear, is out. Yeah, Zef is here. She dropped us off. In fact, everyone is really happy. I can't wait to... Love you too. I guess that was Justina. Yeah. Let's go inside. Um, I'm suddenly feeling unwell. What's wrong? I think I just need rest. Wow. So how do I see you? You could buzz by my house. I'll text you the address. Alright. Take care of yourself for me. Take, Take care of yourself for me. me. Is Safanaya married now? No, ma. You should consider her. She's a good girl. I'm with someone else, ma. I just they talk. You don't know this one since when well, I never big like this. Leave Ben to handle we go marry. How we go take do with this 30 million kuzra? Where then give us so? Hi. Hope it wasn't so difficult to find. No, it wasn't. Nice place. You've done well for yourself, Zef. Thank you. You are not doing badly yourself. All thanks to Justina. I see you brought wine. Yes. To celebrate my father's freedom. 
It couldn't have happened without you and Let me get cups and we drink to freedom. <laughs> Toast to freedom. To freedom. Mm. And of course to 30 million Kuzra. <laughs> and that too. Hello dear. You still coming? I prepared something for us to celebrate. Yes, I am. We'll be with you shortly, babe. I have to go now. Justina is waiting for me. Hey, we have a lot to catch up on. You don't have to really go now. Zef. Shh. I've put this off so we can catch up. Don't fight it. Hello, Adura. Justin, what's up? Is Ben at home? His phone is switched off. No, he's not. He wasn't supposed to come today. He said he was coming to my place, but it's been over three hours since and his number is off. Shit, he's here. Why the hell did you put your phone off? I'm sorry, babe. There was a highway robbery going on. So I had to put the phone off and hid it in the car. Oh my god, are you okay? Did they harm you? No. The soldiers intervened before they could get to my car. Thank God. I was so worried. You must be hungry. No, just tired. I don't want to sleep. Expecting anyone? No. Hey, girlfriend! Don't tell me you're still sleeping. so early oh so now you know how it feels to come to someone's house early huh anyway i came to hang out at your place the last time you chased me out of your house because i wanted to concentrate on the strategy to win ben's father's case you should be thanking me and go in there to make me breakfast whatever i can see that uh i didn't know he was here Ah. Don't be naughty. He was almost robbed last night. He came here pretty late. Oh, really? He was almost robbed, huh? Let me go make breakfast. Good idea. What are you doing here? Don't you know there is something called morning after? You didn't let me have that. Listen. Last night was a mistake. It shouldn't have happened. But you enjoyed it. Zev, please. I have something good going on with Justina. I don't want to ruin it. Justina is your friend, please. We'll be doing just bread and tea this morning. <laughs> uh, just fine. <laughs> uh. Why are you so happy? Like you had some last night. Ooh, I... This food tastes nice, darling. <laughs> it's just bread and tea. Zef, don't you have somewhere you need to be today? No, I plan to stay here all day. <gasps> oh, if you guys want to do anything, you can just go ahead and pretend I'm not here. 
There has been a rage about the recent video that was leaked about Kuzorians being tortured in Libya. The video has been causing a lot of opera since it surfaced online. I have to go. <laughs> Kuzorians are asking President Injele Abdurrahman to do something about this or step down as president. To other news. How did he get there? What about Gabriel? Gebu, I don't know. I haven't been in contact with any of them. Who the hell are these people? Do you guys know each other before? Okay, now it's my cue to leave. No, you stay just right there. Ben, what's going on? Baby, I'm sorry. We attended the same secondary school. She's joined at the senior level. The thing is that Steph and I used to be close. You should add very close so that she gets the total picture. You know. Then her parents moved out of our neighborhood and we lost contact until I saw her again at that restaurant. And then we had a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> Will you stop this madness? I wish you had said that last night at my place. That was what made you late yesterday. You're a liar. You're a liar, Ben. Baby, I'm sorry. Please. Leave my house now. Oh, well. Justina, please. Leave! Before I scream and draw attention to this apartment. I'm out. I hate embarrassment. Please. Please. Hey baby, want a ride? Just leave me the hell alone. I think we should find Gabu though. I can do that all by myself. Just leave me alone. You messed up, Sha. That's all I can say. You think I don't know that already? I know, man. I just want you to help me talk to her, please. I'm going crazy here. I will try. But am I the one that sent them to Libya? Why must they blame this on me too? Is every problem of the country my fault? Well, as it is now, we have to do something about it. I suggest you have a meeting with the president of Libya and come to an agreement on negotiation so that Kuzorians can be released and brought back home. All this work gives me headache. I will think about it on my way to Paris. It is like since you finished this your house, you just shut out the rest of the world. I did hear the news but I didn't watch the video to see that it was a mechana. I think we should go to that man that helped him travel though. I told you that a lot of them travel out and they don't contact me. I thought he is one of those. I am not aware of anything that must have happened to him. Hey! And I told this guy to cool down, who? He won't do short call to get money. Hurry, hurry, now he cost all this one by. Now, wow, oh. It don't happen already. Make we just pray, say, government go do something and they go come back alive. What do you want? I told you not to call me again. Don't be a petty baby. My informant whom I put to find out about Gabriel just gave me the address he moved to after he and his mom left the neighborhood. I'm forwarding it to you now, but I'm thinking we could go together. No, thank you. I can go alone. We'll go together. I'd like that. Thanks for giving me another chance. Adura did a lot of talking. You should thank him as well. Ben, I am happy for you. You really look well. Unfortunately, my son, your friend, didn't turn out so well. I was here, sitting at the veranda, when his body was brought home. I have asked Adewale the cause of my son's death, but he says he doesn't know that Gabriel had moved out to his own house. And he hardly heard from him. 
How will Adewale say he doesn't know what killed my son? My son! Come! That is Gabriel. I still can't believe my son is dead. It seems like yesterday when he came home bringing lots of gifts and seemed to be enjoying a luxurious life. <laughs> Those responsible for his death will not know this. Hey, Amen. Do you know where this Adewale lives? I only know that he lives in Lagos. But I can tell you where his mother lives. It's not too far from here. Perhaps she can tell you. Thank you, Ma. What a day. We made a vow to be successful no matter what. Little did I know that sometimes the definition of purpose matters a lot on the road to success. If not, we'd make wrong choices. Your other friend, Emeka, doesn't seem to be doing well either. Ah! Do you know in my mind, I've been planning how I'd try to reach out to them as soon as I'm done with studies outside the country. Let me open. You must understand that you are the leaders of tomorrow and education is the key to unlocking your bright future. Yes, it was until our greedy and selfish politicians changed the padlock. First, tell us, break it down for us how you spent 15 million kuzra. Because this file is saying that the project has been concluded. It has your signature on it. Chai! Governor has fainted. Oh. Governor, Governor, Lots! Bring water, please. Coke, Fanta! Oh my god! <laughs> See our leaders. Let them be decorum! Decorum kill you there. Madu. If we had money, my mother would have gone to a private hospital in the first place. If we had money, we would have enough to eat. And I wouldn't need to think of how to further my studies. If we had money, my dad would have gotten a lawyer sooner and not have to spend all those years in prison for something he did not do. We must make a commitment not to be poor, no matter what. We must make this money! Yes, it must be relevant. Wait! Should we also promise not to contact each other till we have made it? Why? That sounds exciting. To make us more serious to make it. Okay then. I'm in. I'm in. What a day. We made a vow to be successful no matter what. Little did I know that sometimes the definition of purpose matters a lot on the road to success. If not, We'd make wrong choices. Your other friend, Emeka, doesn't seem to be doing well either. Ah! Do you know in my mind, I've been planning how I'd try to reach out to them as soon as I'm done with studies outside the country. Let me open. Hello? What are you doing here, you traitor? Uh-uh-uh. You don't get to talk today. You did all of that the last time we had contact. Now move. Hello, Ben, darling. Zef, whatever this is, we can settle it amicably without doing this. <laughs> what do you think I want to do? you <laughs> but of course i want to you i mean you deserve to go i helped you to this point you at now i helped you i did a lot for you and you just gonna dump me and move on with your life with justina nah <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> I thought I could control the feeling to rip you off until I saw you went with Justin to Gabriel's mama's place. Something I wanted us to do together. 
but you know, it made me realize that if I won't have you, neither will Justina or anybody else. Sefna, please. Sef, don't, don't do this. Justina, <laughs> say bye to your lover. Perhaps you should join him as well. Today, we witness over 1,000 Kuzoans released from Libya to join their families in Kuzoa. This was after President Injeli Abdurrahman had a meeting with the President of Libya and an agreement was reached. See, Emeka, he's still alive. Yeah, he's barely alive, but still alive. I'm sure he too had to face his own choices in life. Well, hurry and recover so you can know all about that and get to travel out for your studies. Thank God I came in just in time. Never don't smoke just in our joint. You think it's funny? Ben is lucky that she missed his heart by a bit. If not, hey! We are all happy we are lucky. But shall know I am the hero in this story. Tell your children the story to tell their children and their own children. My name must ring out in your lineage. Fool. <laughs> anyway, Zeph is in police custody now. But our parents are here to see you. Why? What for? We don't need to see them. Let's just see what you want to see, babe. We are sorry you are to be a victim of this. Victim K. Zef has some type of problem. We thought we've been able to train her to curtail it. The thing is that she likes to help people and once she gets attached, she doesn't want to see them with any other person. She lives in a fantasy world where she wants to be the only relevant person, uh, like a god or messiah, to people. When reports of assault on her friends came to us severally because she saw her friends being friendly with someone else, we thought it best to bring her down to Kuzoa. Perhaps a change of environment might help. When we saw she had started to help you and your family, we knew the same case would repeat itself again. So we decided to move to a locality where everybody minds their business and stay in their houses. Somehow, she learns to stay on her own without needing to help anyone. Or so we thought, until this happened. I didn't know about this. I don't even understand. Somehow, I do. I don't expect anyone to understand, but this is what it is. Extreme jealousy takes a toll on her and makes her angry to cause harm to the people who once needed her, but turn out not to need her again. Now wow, since day this life will. I am really glad you are fine. Really, but I would like to ask that you drop any charges against her so we can take her elsewhere to seek help. We are looking at a rehab center. Please, we beg of you. Well ma, you did me no wrong. As a matter of fact, you treated me nicely in the past. Adura will see to this request ma. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's all. Please continue to be well. We are sorry once again. <sighs> now wow. People they fine for outside, but the demon inside them, eh? Please drop all the charges against her. She should not just come for us again, because this time somebody might die and it won't be me and Ben or Adura. I just like it when she the para. It makes you look hot. Come, is this my baby I'm saying looks hot? Are you mad? Baba, no vex. I'm leaving for the police station before I get to call her sexy.